All right, you should be able to hear me now. Hello. Hi there, hello. I'm the astronaut. How's it going? Uh, I probably should keep some music on. It's just usually the fan art goes for longer than the music. Uh, thank you, Kasora, for the music. Thank you, Balder, for the, um, well, also for the fan art side, but also the, uh, the intro that we just showed. This thing. Uh, we can put this one on for a while, I think, maybe. Uh, VLC is slow to load for me lately. It's slow to start. What's that all about? Whether it's music or um, or a video file, VLC is taking like a couple seconds to start after I double click. On a file, yeah. Like I, so, I have um, in in my fan art folder, I have the music that we use for intros, and when I double click it. Like, I double-click the pylon icon, right? I just double-click the, the, the file I want to start. And it will take, like, like at least two seconds to, to start. And this, the same is for, for video files. I thought it was because the video files were quite large, but now I notice it's, it's doing this with, with these uh, small music files. So I don't know what that's all about. Alright, uh, is the music too loud or are we okay? <clears throat> I hate VLC. I hate VLC. Where's the comment? Where's the comment? I hate VLC. I'm the number one hate. V v I'm the number one VLC hater. I'm glad this stream is a safe space for people like me. I mean, I don't really have any strong opinions about VLC. It just, I just feel like I have to use VLC because that's the only media program that that seems to do everything that I want it to. Maybe there's a better one. For a long time, I was just a basic Windows media player boy. And then I tried to open a bunch of files one day, this is like, like I don't know, 10 years ago, and it was like, you can't, codec's not found or whatever, and then it's like, what what the hell is a codec? Like, like I feel like codecs just came out of nowhere uh, in my techno technological life, you know? It's like, out of nowhere, I, I suddenly had to manage my codecs for my files and shit, so, um, and then VLC just seemed to be the best solution for that, so I've just been using VLC since then. Why not use a dedicated music player like Music Beat? I don't, I don't listen to music enough um, in that way to to justify that. Um, the vast majority of the music I listen to is through YouTube. I will just find the YouTube uh, song and I'll just put it on loop there, or I'll just cycle through a playlist on YouTube. Um, that's how I listen to music for the most part. Lily has a, a Spotify account uh, and she uses Spotify all the time, so I could probably get in on that action, but. Um, I just haven't. It's pretty rare that I get to have a headset on if I'm not streaming. So, you know, I'll listen to a couple songs a day. Sometimes I'll just listen listen to music with my headset off next to me on the desk and I'll be able to hear it. I use my, my headset as kind of like speakers. But yeah, I should probably get on, um, get on Spotify. Anyway, we have some blurst fan art today. Uh... I think today is a momentous occasion. Uh, congratulations! I think it is this fan artist, uh, Harmva. Congratulations to Harmva, who um, is, I think, the first fan artist to ever contribute some fan art to to the Discord that we decided was too lewd to show. So, congratulations! Congratulations, Harmva! You found the line. You found the line. If you want to go find it, maybe you can see it somewhere. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I do, I do not think it's in the album. I hope it's not. I I, I kind of skimmed through to make sure it wasn't. I don't think it was there anymore. So so we'll see. Was it a Chan? Um, it was not a Chan. Well, kind of a Chan. Link it. I I can't. Let's just say an involved. Something adjacent to to goats. The 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 uh, amount of goats that were in it was high. It was very it was very goatsy. Let's put it that way. 
so we decided that that was uh that was too that was above like that was over the line there is something else that's that's potentially over the line but my god they found the new tech to to get her in chat they found a way they found a way towing the line creative use of uh fan art chan mechanics here we go here we go anyway thank you harmva for um more more blurst uh handsome joe uh, there are many of these, so I, I hope you like. <laughs> this this is not this is not the last we've seen of of this character. <laughs> fan art um, of the uh, 4G LTE fan art. Should we remake this until Joe changes his profile pic? Oh man. Hi, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood Balder. Today's fan art includes very minor spoilers for Neon Genesis Evangelion, Xenoblade, and the future streams Joe will do of both. What? Other content warnings include Chance. Is that the spoiler for me? Other content warnings include Chance and Joe. Yes, the, the date is intentionally like that. Date. Oh, I didn't I didn't show the date up there. Never mind. Uh, children Shoho voice. Some of these messages have been modified by K. Can you tell which ones? Alright. So thank you, thank you, Harmva. Thank you, thank you, Harmva. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Clive. Simsy. Oh damn! I wasn't active in this community when the Half Life streams happened, but after catching up, here's my own personal, very late version of Trolley Chan post power up. The scars are from all the times Joe got her shot, bastard. Hey, hey, she she was strong enough to take it. Okay, she knew. She knew. I'm back on fan art duties. I will take care of this art, says Kay. She took a copy and then immediately left duties to me, says Balder. Can you guess which ones? You know what? I gotta say, I gotta say, get ready, chat, because we are about to see the rare maneuver of where chat goes from, wow, unbased streamer to base streamer, okay? I don't really like muscle girls, okay? I don't really like muscle girls. All right, this 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 doesn't this doesn't do it for me. I don't really like muscle muscle girls. Um, however, with the recent um, showcase of of muscly uh, Charlie Chan, I feel like I'm coming around a little bit. I'm looking at this and I'm kind of like, damn. <laughs> so I don't I don't know. Like I feel like I'm coming around a little bit. <laughs> The turn see I told you, I told you. I was Babe Ruth calling the shot there. I want to rub my face in woman B A S. Thank you, Annie. That, that's um pretty rare coming from you. Okay. Oh abs! It's abs. It's the abs. Okay. <sighs> Oh man, <laughs> it's so horny. <laughs> anyway, uh, I like her a lot. Thank you, Simzy. Thank you. <laughs> By C eight zero six two five six. With Florence gone, someone has to pick up the background noise slack. Oh, it's Squeaky Chair Chan. Oh, and she's she's like cracking her back by creaking. Back problems. Oh no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Remember, chat, as much as having back problems is a part of gamer identity, you need to stay active. Baby only got one back. That's true. You need to look after your back. You gotta look after your back. The hair works so well. Yeah, it, it's like it's like another chair, like within the chair, right? Like, look at this. That is so good. Look at this. Cute show. That is a very cute draw. Yeah. I'm fond of this Chan. May I download this Chan? Simzy is glad that he fixed you. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm fully fixed yet, but we'll see. Excuse me. What 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 is this? What is this fake gamer controller? Hold on. I found a flaw. Three buttons? What? What's this? 
Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> do, 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 do. It's the Sonic Heroes controller. Just wait, it'll be Muscle Girl Monday next week. Oh, have I done something? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I just noticed something else in this that I didn't notice, and now I don't want to point it out because it's a little bit, um... <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see that. I, I didn't, there's a little bit of cushion action going on, let me tell you. Hold on, let me recreate it in, with, with the real chair. All right, leaning my head back. All right. Snuggled right in there. All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> oh, my chair doesn't have a have a neck rest. I'm I'm a little I'm a little sad. Uh, let's move over to the next uh, song. There, it might be a little quiet, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you, C8. He's back. Gold Star Knight, fan art of Harmva's fan art of 4GLTE's fan art. So said to make this a, a trend. Joe. Joe. He's back. <sighs> when someone says in chat that Elden Ring is the best FromSoft game. Add true Anderson stare. We still haven't. I still haven't gotten elephant sex together. Now we're gonna have another stare off. I'm am so I'm so bad at this. Hi Joe. Just wanted you to know your Persona playthroughs have been my favorite thing to watch. Hope you do P3P one day. Looking forward to the stream. P3P. Is that the Persona 3 remake, or do you want me to play the portable one? I think we're I think we're only going to play the remake for, for Persona 3. Not sure. When a game tells you you can't climb this wall and you hit him with one of these. <laughs> Elden Ring is, without a doubt, the best FromSoft game. It's up there. It's up there. Depends on what you want. Depends on what you want. I think Sekiro is the best. Anyway, let us continue. Thank you, Goldstar Knight. Green trees. More and more blurst as we go on. Fan art of Goldstar Knight's fan art of Harmvis fan art of 4G LTE's fan art. Joseph Andy in all his glory. Seth. Oh, Joseph. Okay, I see. How, how many of these are there? How how many uh, breaks are we gonna have for uh, for Anderson? That's not his name. You know we could we could experience uh, the the majesty of people learning out that my real name isn't learning that Joseph Anderson is my real name all over again because there's gonna be a lot of people here that have never watched the stream before because they're only here for the Bethesda game. They they watch the the Bethesda videos on YouTube, and then we could say it on stream and people and they'll be like what. what? It's not his name. But your name is Joseph Anderson? It is, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it is, yeah. I know your name isn't Joe, but I never heard the story why. You never explained it? What do you mean? Why does there have to be a story? You just, pseudon pseudonyms are, are, pretty, are pretty common, right? All pseudo intellectuals have to have a pseudonym. That's that's how it works. Hey Joe, just wanted to let you know I got into the Witcher books because of your videos, and they are my new favorite fantasy series. Thank you. Oh, that's good. They they are also my favorite fantasy series. Although I forget that sometimes because I I read them for work, and for some reason my brain miscategorizes that compared to uh, other stuff that I've read just just for myself. Um, like uh, before that, my favorite fantasy series was The Farseer by Robin Hobb, and. Uh, yeah, now now it's it's The Witcher. I, re I really enjoyed those books. Those are really good books. Not perfect. A lot of problems, especially in the five far five part book saga. But yeah, um, they're really good. Ah, 
All right. Thank you, Green Trees. By Julie Gordeau, or Julie Gordot. I love when I get an idea for fan art which involves purposefully shitty drawings literally made on MS Paint for max fidelity. Okay, what's this? One of the only three Armored Core 6 fan arts. This one is more of a hypnospace one anyway. Should should it count? Let's see. Oh man, even better UI. Get up and buy Skyrim. What? Why do you sound like Todd Howard? <laughs> what? Well, this sucks. She's back. Starfield. Next time on Ju <laughs> All right, I understand now. <laughs> I understand now. Jo Next time on Jolier's X. Those dreams you had, they're all real. The mechs, the red energy, your secret powers, and double shotguns. <laughs> Amazing. All of it is real. We need your help, Joe. Thank you, Ghost of Decoy. All right, so if you weren't here for the Hypnospace uh, streams, you're not going to understand this. But if you were, just know, it's, uh, just if you want to be on board, just know it's very funny. Just type plus two in the chat. This is very funny. This is very good. <laughs> the double shotguns. <laughs> I had, a, I had a dream last night. I had a dream last night that I was putting my contacts in. I wear I wear glasses. I have glasses on right now, but um, I, I wear like one day I'll wear glasses. Next day I wear contacts. It's usually half and half. So I was I had a dream. I was putting my contacts in, and I have I have daily disposables. So my I don't my my eye problem isn't really that severe. So I can get like cheap daily disposable contacts. So. If you don't know what they are, they, they come in like little little plastic packages that are about the size of your thumb and you you un unwrap them, you peel the top off of them and then there's the contact lenses and just a little bit of solution, right? So I had a dream last time I was putting my contacts in and I opened the first one, I got the first contact in and then I got and then I, I got the second one and it was misshapen. It was really, really big. It was just like huge. It was like the, the, the contact lens inside had gotten like really bloated, but it was like way bigger. It was like the size of your like your palm instead of a size of, of um, your, your thumb. So I'm like, what the hell is this? What happened? So I open it up and inside there was a fully cooked chicken wing instead of a contact lens. And then I, I showed it to Lily and this is the part I've been thinking about all day because I don't understand why my brain thought this. I turned it, I, I showed it to Lily and said, look, Lily, they made a mistake. They forgot to take the chicken wing out when they made the contact lens. I don't understand why my dream brain thought that chicken wings were a part of the contact lens manufacturing process. <laughs> it wasn't like, how did a chicken wing get in the package? It was, haha, they forgot. Like, <laughs> I got a, I had a, I had two contact lenses in a package once. That was a good day. good day anyway thank you uh julie gordo this was this was really good by piggy wiggy joe said that armored core reminded him of rabbi ribby and it fired some synapses in my brain lol war never changes Ugh. Gah, there you go <laughs> where did my clothes go why why bunny girl oh it's mixing all of them that's why okay i get it so it's it's bunny girl in in the mech doing like good combat with with clothes on okay i get it it's all of them where did my souls go plus two plus two say the line yori it's wild to me that of the three games that are on on the screen right now that the From Soft one is my least favorite. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I would I would rank it that, like it gets worse to better from left to right. Like 13 Sentinels was really good. And then Rabbi Ribby was, you know, it was it was pretty good. I had some problems, but I enjoyed the, the combat. And then, and the exploration was not bad either. And then Armor Core, also like a decent to good time. Don't get me wrong, but um, like, wow, uh, it, it kind of falls off. 
you really like that bunny girl ass i do like bunny girls i have to i will admit the the bunny girl aesthetic is is one that i do like but it, it, it's not i like i like i like what i'm wearing in the picture i i like i like the the playboy bunny aesthetic i don't like the the anime like like ooh, ooh, ooh. i don't i don't like that one that one's like i could leave that Oh, let me uh, let me zoom out. Sorry. Thank you, Piggy Wiggy. Let's change the music too. Let's go back to the to the OG. There we go. Do 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 do. By ALP, believe blood. Hashtag eight nine three seven. Those are two very different names. Anyone else been like being like? badgered by discord to be like hey you need to change your name and if you say no they're gonna like we're gonna ask you again about this very soon and it, i don't know how long that's been going on for but i just keep saying no and they haven't made me yet so i don't know what that's all about the small detailing really makes this one pop dual shotgun chan <laughs> oh paw patrol joms the decoy nice Cherry Joes, <laughs> so we can have the ah oh, these nuts. Oh, nice, nice. I can have my own cereal. Oh, I feel bad for her. How is she gonna enjoy her Cherry Joes? Just gonna shoot the bowl and hope that they land in her mouth. Like, how is she gonna enjoy her Cherry Joes? Do, do. I have a question about the mechs. Why bother having? legs when you're just gonna move with with boosters and like whatever rollerblades or whatever the fuck are on the on the on the feet why why like at that point wouldn't it just be structurally better to have just like a, a rock solid platform on the bottom like if they didn't use the rocket boosters and they walked around then okay i get it but maybe they only use the boosters when it's battle time and you're supposed to walk to save fuel uneven terrain but they can fly maybe maybe re constantly regenerating fuel is um isn't canon it's just a gameplay contrivance do, 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 do. okay chat does he love the game or hate the game which game which game i didn't I, I don't think i've hated much games that we played lately apart from 12 minutes 12 minutes was really bad uh golem as well golem and 12 minutes were really really bad um there must have been some other game I didn't like. Uh, I, I'm enjoying Starfield, but I don't love it. I enjoyed Ace Combat 6 probably more than I'm enjoying Starfield. I think Ace Combat 6 was pretty good. Uh, but it's not, like, I don't know. I would say high 6, maybe a 7 out of 10. I would, that's why I would give uh, Ace Combat um, 6. Sorry, Armored Core. Fuck it, I keep doing it. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm so sorry. Armored Core 6. Sorry, Armored Core 6. Oh, my God. <sighs> Armored Core 6. I would give it a high 6, maybe a 7 out of 10 for Armored Core 6. Um, AI 2. I enjoyed streaming AI 2, but if I had played on my own, I don't think I would have enjoyed it that much. That streaming really helped with that. In, uh, conversely, I feel like streaming Starfield is maybe bringing it down. I feel like I just need to play the game however, like I would and just not worry about chat, which is going to make for maybe a more boring stream experience, but oh well. Like, just play the game. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, I like uh, I like dual shotgun Chen. Very cool design. How how tall is she? Twelve meters. Anyway, thank you, ALP. Oh God! All right, she's here. She's here. Oh man. All right. So. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's Cream Chan. It's not not anything else. It's Cream Chan. See the cartons of cream? They're cartons of cream. And it's reference to the cream streams. It's Cream Chan. Alright? And I gotta say, 
cream chan is is pretty cute she's she's kind of a cutie pie or some might even say she's a thank you uh zestorin cream stream chan and her streams of cream many thanks to jelly 38 <laughs> Oh, many thanks to Jelly386, Sam and Unintellectual, Hope Pajume, Broken Alex1048, Padali, and of course Chrome Dollar. Thank you for joining me in a weekly chart drawing session where Paddle's incessant request served as the spark for an idea whose lore I don't know how to say this word. A a apoc apocrypa? Apocrypa? I don't know how to say that word. Apocrypa? I feel like I should know how to say that word. Apoc it, it's not showing up on on pronounce pronounce apocrypha 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 all right and also because it's tradition Queer ass. <laughs> Queer ass. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> apocrypha uh, and symbology we collectively culminated into into the the Chan. Collectively call culminated. Very nice. Um, it's Chan, it's a Chan I've put, uh, put to page for all of Jets to behold. Oh my god, my, my mind went to a really bad place there. Oh my god, uh, a Chan who truly embodies the source of the cream, which rises to the top as it sustains and uplifts us. Yep, uh-huh, yeah, cream Chan, yep, yep, mm-hmm. True, truly, an original group project, and and not a a retooled, controversial Chan proposal from the past. Nope, nope. Cream Chan, alas. Well, I think cream cream from like Nephilim would be a great bit. This design only has a single pair of slightly off off white wings. There we go. Does this count as one of the gross chants? What's gross about cream? Everyone likes cream. Seraphim. You say Seraphim, I say Nephilim. I'm more Diablo pilled, sorry. How would it be then? Would, it, would you pronounce it Creafim? Creafim instead of Creamfim? Creafim? Cream can get moldy if you don't clean the nozzle with hot water. Oh, I was told that it's better to use cold water when you're cleaning up cream. Hmm. All right. Have you touched Diablo 4 since launch? I can't remember how the stream ended. I have. I haven't played it anymore since that stream. I haven't played it at all. I played some Path of Exile, but I haven't played. Uh, I haven't played any. Um, any Diablo 4. Bro, what? Yeah, I. Path of Exile. I prefer it to Diablo 4. Sorry. Who told you that, Joe? No one told me. I figured it out myself. I played some Diablo 4. I played some Path of Exile. I, I Path of Exile is better. Post stream went. We did a post stream before. You don't. You guys don't want a post stream. You don't want a post stream. No. Anyway, thank you, thank you, Zer Store and HV, for the creamiest of of uh, blurst images and chance. We won't be seeing her again, right? We won't be seeing her again. By Jelly. 
And thank you, Zestorin, for hosting the Jart session and being great company while I worked on some chan art of my own. I s said in the last Jan art showcase that my next fan art would be, shall we say, less than topical, and I am nothing if not if not a chan of my word. What? Today I humbly present you with a chan from the Yakuza Zero era, who, by the original creator's own decree, has a perfect pullout game. Truly inspirational, well, maybe not for Joe, <laughs> featuring Anxious Short Stack, Ketchup Kiddos, Cool as Ice, Yosh Chan. Very specific Chan. Specific Channing. It, it, it tracks, it's allowed. It's a vintage Chan. Yosh Chan dates back to Yaku, y Yazuka Zero. She'll make, make you Yosh out of your gourd. I, I can't lie, I have forgotten this chan. I don't remember this chan. We have a lot of we have a lot of chans. How many chans are we up to now? Is there a chan database? There's gotta be a, a chan database. I'm realizing that I'm spilling water onto my uh, onto my UPS. That's not good. Chanpedia? What's a funny way of calling a database of chans? I made a tier list a while back. Next, I need to update it though. Is Fido number one? Or is, is Fido so number one that Fido is number one above? Like, like it's not a competition. We just take Fido out of it. And then it's like, okay, who's who's number one after that? Chantopia, the waifu warehouse. <laughs> Remember the cringe sub thank yous we used to say? Fido number one. Actually, for some people, Charlie Chan might take over Fido now. Like Fido, Fido is is a concept, and the design is just is just the goat. However, Charlie Chan actually like starred in her own game. Like, <laughs> we need to play another Yakuza game. We will soon, and by soon I mean at some point in the future, in the next year or two. Fido, Florence, Charlie. How is Florence so strong? We have too many chans, it's ruining stream morale. Imagine this being your first stream. Imagine this being your first stream. Anyway, thank you, Jelly. The callback chan. By Harmva, wheelofweebs.com. Oh, holy crap. Arrow next to the wheel has now been drawn for the second time. You're welcome, Joe. The arrow next to the wheel chan is a repeat chan. Do you know how many chans there are that that don't become repeat chans, and that one gets to be a repeat chan. Credit to Snowdozer for original Arrow Chan. To the web developer weebs out there, the domain is available. Grab it while stock remains. I won't though, I've got to pay for ho for hosting this site. So we have Erica, who is like, holy shit, um, wow. And then we have D Derek. The the plays on Eric are, are, are really inspired. Good job. Angel Eric, Devil Eric, Eric next to the wheel. What's on? What's on the wheel? Oh, it's when we did the the, the big wheel. Okay, big wheel. White stockings are the second best color of stockings. I will take no notes. Number one is obviously black. Black stockings, best stockings. Then white stockings. Then after that, might surprise you, red. Red is number three. There's a Jopedia. Apparently there is a Jopedia, yeah. Where is sex? Sex is on the wheel somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Sex is on the wheel here. Is sex two on this wheel? Maybe Angel Eric is blocking out sex two fitting they made a sex too you haven't partaken <laughs> I like the uh, the halo hair and then the the hair horns too very cute very cute what's on uh, Derek's arm Oh, it's a Leon! Oh, the hidden Leon! Oh, it's been so long since I found a hidden Leon. Sometimes there's like a Leon like in in the uh, 
in the art somewhere, but a hidden Leon is pretty rare nowadays. Do -do -do. Sex one did not live up to the hype, to be honest. Skill issue. Skill issue. Anyway, thank you, Harmba. God damn. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Holy shit. Oh, she's back. Sam, and thank you uh, very much, Kay. Joe said, you may watch me play any game in the garden, but you shall not take the marble of the Forbidden Wheel of Weebdom. What have we done, Jart? It's a Garden of Eden reference. Very nice. <sighs> Cream Chan's back. The song in the Simpsons bit where the church organist plays the rock and or roll style sounding hymn for 17 minutes is actually a full song. It's a it's in a Gada Gada da Vida by Iron Butterfly. Is it? And it goes and does in fact have a runtime of 17 minutes. Okay, I have never understood that scene in the Simpsons when when he says that when the is it uh who is is it the priest i don't know if it's if it's a priest in in the simpsons when he says oh lord this sounds like rock and or roll and then someone hits his head with a beach ball why where like why what's that a reference to why the beach ball gets thrown in his head i've never understood what the fuck that is is that just like a random like lol let's just throw a fucking beach ball at his head like because it's like a concert. Is it? Do you have beach balls at a concert? Beach Boys? Beach Boys aren't rock and or roll. What kind of boomer take is that? Concert stadiums would sometimes do that. Oh, would they? Okay, maybe it's just... Maybe it's, I, I'm overthinking it then. So it's a joke that, like, the church crowd's going wild that they've started, like, doing um, rock concert shit and they've started throwing around a beach ball and stuff. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. It's a good, but yeah, plus two. I'll plus two it now. Yeah, it's funny. Man, Mer Merrick and Harmva right now. Do you think love can bloom in a Twitch chat? <laughs> Reaching to the wheel on the tree. Because like, no, angry god dragon. <laughs> Thank you very much for including the cartons with Cream Chan, and let it be known that if Cream Chan ever comes back, the cartons have to be there in order to make it clear that it is in fact Cream. Th this is a part of our, our chanitage. Ha ha the, the, the cartons stay as a part of it, okay? How are they moving though? Is it like... Is she like an S SCP Chan that whenever she moves forward, the the cartons just slide like they have boosters on them, like a mech in Armored Core? Like, how do they? How does that? How does that go? All my art has Leon. They hip the Hypnospace back to the good part. One it has one on the USB plug of the Hypnospace logo on the TV as a girl. Oh, did I miss a Leon? I'm sorry, Kay. I don't like. I don't like. Um, I don't like cream in my coffee. I feel like cream is too, it's too much. I prefer just milk in my coffee. Cream just makes the coffee different. I enjoy like, like, um, like whipped cream, uh, like a sweet cream on like a donut or something. That's really good. But I don't like, um, I don't like cream in my coffee. Ew, you like coffee? Hey, I wouldn't go that far. I drink it, but I don't think I like it. Anyway, thank you, thank you, Sam. By Vaulty V Emmy Chan, really, a balanced meal with with your streams is important. Thus, I present the five food groups of Jads and what the fuck? How did Philbo get there? Philbo. Of course, the only proper way to choose from the food groups is to spin the entire thing and only eat what it lands on. <laughs> The f Kay told me she got a message at 4 a.m. going, Kay, I need your permission to use your ass from Emmy. Very nice. The five food groups of Jads. Fruits, vegetables, great vegetables. Oh, there it is. Pickle. For some reason, my brain is going, is a pickle a vegetable? 
Is a pickle a vegetable? Is it a gray area? Is there an overlap of pickle with fruit and vegetable? What's the actual definition of, of fruit and vegetable? It is? It's a cucumber? I know it's a cucumber. Is a cucumber, can it be classified as a fruit? Fruit has seeds, I think. Is that the only reason? Hmm. It's a gourd? <laughs> Man, a watermelon. Never expires. Nice. Dairy, cream, stream, mortifying mocha. Very nice. Sip. Oh yeah, I drink I drink like uh, mochas. I don't drink coffee. I put some I put some Nesquik syrup in my coffee, um, and some milk, and that's it. That's that's my I t like coffee, no sugar, bit of milk, bit of Nesquik. That's it. Jam bread grains. Ah, oh, the jam bread callback. I hope you can buy uh, jam bread in Persona Three and still buy it in Royal. You got to be able to, right? Yakisoba pond. I will try yakisoba pond one day. I'm excited. If I ever see a place that sells yakisoba pond, I will try some. And I probably won't like it, but I, I will try it. And then meat, bunny ass, nice. Extra lean, ground beef. That's true. That's true. How many of you here don't get this reference? How many of you here don't get this? If you take, chat, if you take, if you take a, like 500 grams of extra lean ground beef and you get 500 grams of, of normal, regular ground beef and you put them together to make a kilogram of mixed ground beef, do you now have a tedious bit that takes too long to get to the punchline. Do you? Do do you have a thousand grams of of lean ground beef? Does does extra equal extra and equal and equal regular join to make now it's now it's lean in the middle? You do. I think you do too. I think you have something close enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Mayor. Oh no. Are are we doing an ARG? <sighs> anyway, thank you, Zuma. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zuma. Thank you, Clive. Thank you, Jill. <sighs> Luna Panda. Just when you thought you were out. POV, you are a donkey from Shrek. <laughs> Ender. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. No, you need two parts extra lean and one part regular. I researched this for important reasons. Oh, someone did the math. So, so what? What is? So you worked out how much fat content is in extra lean and regular, and how much fat content is in is in just lean, and you worked out that it's two parts, two parts extra to one part regular to make to make a lean recipe. All right, I can respect that. Okay. Do 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 do. The whole food group fan art Emmy did was actually meant to look look like Philbo. Also, please guess how long it took for me to realize Emmy meant the drawing of the bunny girl ass. All right. Well done, Kate. Well done. Well done. I'm so glad the stream says intended for certain audiences. That's that's there all the time now. How do I get rid of that? Do, do. Dragon and Trek. Yeah, there's a dragon and Trek. You don't remember the dragon and Trek? It's a it's a, a big scene. Doo, doo, doo. Change it to no intended audiences. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Luna and uh, L Luna and uh, Luna Panda. Blurster and Blurster. I know how I feel about nails that are that long. I think that's too long. Too long for me. Nails are a bit too long. Do you know about Shrek Retold? I don't. I don't know what that is. Snowdozer. <clears throat> the Starry Night. <laughs> Sun. Okay. There's, there's a continuing hyphen. Does that mean there's another one of these still to come? How many are we up to now? I think this is this is six of them, isn't it? In this set? 
make it stop? Is it awakening something in you? <laughs> the eyebrow. Oh. Oh. Oh, let's put different music on. All right, there we go. Surely we will we will get through the fan art before the song ends. Surely, surely. Okay, you know what, chat? You need. To, oh my god! All right, fucking hell. Oh. You pinned it. What are you doing? Oh, Rouge of Mods? Alright, thank you, Snowdozer. By Fifi Defi Fessly. Fessel. Hopefully that's somewhere close. Light, Evan light, light Evangelion spoilers. I'm always behind on the VODs and miss out on making fan art, so I'm trying to get a jump on it and predict future stream moments. Here's Joe watching Eva. Alright, here's, here's me watching Eva. Joe streams Joe Evangelion. His robot, not, not the asshole. What? What? Chat, why does she have a penguin? What? Okay, I, I don't know anything about Evangelion. I actually really don't know. Like, I, the only thing I know is that there's those two, two girls that everyone fights over. Who's the best one, even though they're probably underage. Like, that's, that's like, I, that's the only thing I know about Evangelion. Like, literally, I don't know anything else. Like, there, what, penguin? Ro robot? Well, that didn't happen in 13 Sentinels. Is it, is it a mech anime? It is? Oh, okay. <laughs> is that why when we played 13 Sentinels and someone in chat said 13 is their age? Is Was that like a, a, a layer to that joke that I didn't even get because it's because uh, of the mech in Evangelion? Oh man! <laughs> Here's some inspiration for uh, you poster edit edit minded folk. A oh, poster edit minded folk. Joe Evangelion 1.0. You are not a weeb. Joe Evangelion 2.0. VOD watchers cannot skip 30 minutes. A AI two spoilers for next image. Joe Evangelion 3.0. You cannot undo Chan. What? Joe Evangelion. Okay. I uh, what? Twice upon a half life. All right. So these are the the, the weird Evangelion uh, like. Titles that are probably shown on like a like a black screen and white text at the beginning to make it sound like it's more fancy than it actually is. Yeah. Okay. Do 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 do. I feel like the penguin is staring right at me. Is this blood? Arf. Uh oh. Uh oh. Anyway, thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is probably right up here, yeah. <laughs> oh. Deleted. Delete your name is deleted? What? Just just finished the Alsomnium uh, Nirvana streams. I felt bad for the poor intern who had to manage all of Terror's tapes. I'm just impressed they managed to keep continuity between recordings. I said that no one no that one no bullets used tape where they left a Starbucks cup in shot. Uh, <clears throat> I want Terra's tape stumped by this afternoon. Nice marketing supervisor. This world is imperfect. Terra schedule, morning monologue, <laughs> Marco Soft Teams, Terra video recording session for four hours with intern Chan. Lunch, gotta have lunch. Devise master plan, half an hour. So sir, we need to film your, your victory videos. Intern Chan. Aww. Intern Chan is uh, a bit out of her depth, I think. 0902430. I knew that you. <laughs> Do you think they did multiple takes? No, no, I, I wasn't really feeling that one. I knew you wouldn't like that take. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
<laughs> anyway, uh, stun bullets, real bullets, flash bullets, no bullets, just Date. No Date, but Date's ghost. No Date and no Date's ghost. Second rocket, nice. Just in case no one shows up. Happy, happy Chikara and rocket doesn't work. Nice. You can do it. Poor intern Chan. Poor intern Chan. I actually want to watch along with of Evangelion. Oh yeah, with who? With who? Wait, it says Intern Chan on the name tag. Canon name? Do birth name Intern Chan? Do 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 do. Anyway, thank you. Deleted. I don't know if your name is deleted or if your account was deleted. I don't know what's going on here, but thank you. This was funny. Fifi Defi Fessel is back with a green-eyed blonde. More future fan art, because I miss future fan art. Future future fan art. What 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 tech are we on now with with uh with future fan art? Cause I miss the streams fan art. It's because she's a peppy blonde. What's Peppy got to do with this? Few, keep up you guys. Actually, maybe Zen maybe Xenoblade, I want to say Genoblade. The Xenoblade is a good game. Huh. Huh, what what the hell is this? What's going on here? Do I have the, 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 the Kim jacket on there? Is Twitch chat wearing some sort of V-neck pants or are they or are they packing? I'll hand this one to our Xenoblade correspondent K, who is currently cradling the Charlie Chan art. K, not only do the guys in Xenoblade pack, you're incentivized to show it off. What? It's an explicit strategy to get one of the dudes naked, and I hope Joe ruins all the cutscenes by making all the characters wear underwear. I was told that Xenoblade 1 wasn't the cringe one, and that the 2 is a cringe one. What's going on? What's going on? We're we're finding out the truth even before we started the game. What's going on here? Is this a character from the game, or is this a uh, preemptive Channing? Does she have a maple leaf skirt on? What's going on? <laughs> Two is the geniusly written cringe one, and three is not as great. This is gorgeous art, by the way. It really is, isn't it? Look at the detail on her. Nice long, long socks, not stockings. These are long socks. Learn the difference. Learn the difference. 3 wasn't cringe enough for me, unfortunately. It blows my mind that, that 3 has come and gone so fast. I can't believe there has been a Xenoblade Chronicles 3 already. And, like, it's been a, been a minute since it came out, too. In terms of cringe, 2, 3, 1. Really, 3 more than 1. Interesting. We're going to have Xenoblade Chronicles 4 soon. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Anyway, thank you very much, Vivi. Look at the hair, damn. Say goodbye, chat. Also by Fifi, Defi, Fessel, who I'm saying a different time every time. Xenoblade 1 Affinity Chan. Oh, this is preemptive Channing. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Preemptive Channing. Sorry, Fifi. Is Fifi here? Fifi here? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, perma banned Fifi for 30 seconds. For preemptive, uh, preemptive Channing, preemptive Channing, that carries a, a harsh, a harsh uh, penalty. Preemptive Channing, another future fan art previously on Joe. Joe plays Xenoblade. What's this in the menu? Affinity. What do you pre previously? <laughs> Futurely on Joe plays Xenoblade. What's this in the menu? Affinity Chan. Wait, wait, no, God damn it! Laughing dragon noises ensue. I meant Affinity Chart. I'm really tired, Chat. Actually, that sounds like something I might have said. <laughs> Affinity Chan. Ugh, 
I, I, if you want, I guess you can fill, fill me out. <sighs> Thanks for that. My brother needs rescuing in the main quest and I kill 15 brogs. Don't mind if I do. Oh, Affinity Chan channeling a little Fido there. Huh? Huh? Stars fill out as you level up affinity chart. Oh, for sure. Body body fills out too. What? Look at all the badges. Oh, nice. Oh no. Is this really is this a a real cat from the game? Colony 9. Oh no. Oh, look at the straps. Kind of like like rib, a rib cage there. Oh, look at that. Damn. The blush, someone just fell in love. Obviously, spoilers for Xenoblade 1 if you zoom in on the chart. Oh, shit. So don't look too close to the screenshot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. In fact, just kind of squint your eyes to blur it ta tactical, tactically. I can't say that. Tactically. Tactic? Tactically. There you go. I can't say that word. K has already filled out the death warrant for preemptive chanting, but is currently occupied. Okay. All right, we knew. Tact. I have trouble with T sometimes. Tactically, tactic, tactics. That's fine. Tactical. I can't say it. Tactically, tactically. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to say tactic and then adding the alley at the end, because it's not a word I regularly say. So I haven't like just got it rolling off my tongue. So tactically, change it to a tick instead of tac tac tac. No, it's the same. I'm just stupid. Huh? Why am I dumb? Tactically. There you go. I got it. Hmm. Hmm. Tactful work. Hmm. Mario? Mario. Eh, it's Xenoblade 1. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Very cool concept, Fifi. Thank you. You, you lose half a point. Half a point for preemptive chanting. We, we can't encourage preemptive chanting, but we can enjoy it. We can enjoy it. There's no music now. All right, uh, last three, I think. No, last four. But oh, oh, back. Video, oh, there's another one. By knee or nay. The fan artception continues. Video game. All right. Kind of turning into more of a of a devil. Two voters in shambles. The year is 2084. Joe is streaming from a hospital bed. He's played every game except Xenoblade 1. Someone in chat asks Joe, will you play Xenoblade 1? Joe, where the final raspy breath responds, we'll play it eventually before passing away. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'll admit 3 has some great moments that I think are written excellently, but most of the time I unfortunately didn't feel that way. My expectations were set too high. What? Because the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 set your expectations too high? What, the, what universe do you live in that you were disappointed in 3 because 2 set you up too high? What? Or are you talking about Baldur's Gate 3? Because that, 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 you know, that makes more sense. Do, 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 plus true, plus true. Xenoblade 3, better than 1, way better than 2, IMO. Huh. No, because Xenoblade 3 was returning to the vibe of Xenoblade 1. How do you? How are you supposed to know that before you play? Maybe the intro sets your expectations up. I remember, I remember, I think it was Turbo Button. Turbo Button, I don't think Turbo Button makes YouTube videos anymore, but Turbo Button was a big fan of Xenoblade 1. And I remember Turbo Button showed up in the chat once when we were playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and was just absolutely disgusted. <laughs> just like, because he was there and he was like, what the fuck have they done to to the series that I liked? So, I don't know. Like, I know some fans really, really got on board with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but there was a, a strong contingent of people that were just like, like, what the fuck is this? Where, where has this gone? What, the new direction? 
Yeah. Anyway, thank, thank you, Nay. Nay me. Thank you. Is the next one next? No. All right. Crude oil. Someone stop this menace. Has audio. The first stream safe fan art for Starfield. Oh, it's Starfield fan art. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be loud enough. Let us see. I'm going to press the button and we'll see if it's loud. And you tell me if it's okay. All right, let's pause it and stop. Is that loud enough, or is it? Is it need to be louder? It's quiet, really quiet. Okay. Okay, I'm actually gonna max the volume. Okay, so this might be too loud, but I'm gonna max it. Careful! Hey, that was my sandwich. Better. This is why we're wanted, because we we steal sandwiches. This has been a good run. You lucked out being <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> 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 okay, I don't, all the time. All right, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of, kind of, kind of owned right now. I didn't realize my behavior came across as that insane. Holy shit! I love the laser spray bottle so much. Like you're doing it to a cat. Holy shit! Let's see that again. Because we we steal sandwiches. Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh, Leave me alone! <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Crude Oil. All right, let's play the whole thing again one more time. Oh, man. That's so good. Careful. Hey, that was my sandwich. Oh. This is why we're wanted, because we, we steal sandwiches. This has been a good run. You lucked out being S -s -s Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm a menace, man. Oh no! <sighs> Elfer Leon? Or Elfer Loser? It just works. Nice jelly reference. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Crude Oil. Alright, let me turn the sound down to. I think we were at minus nine. Alright, there we go. Video title, Finding the Fun in Starfield. Alright. I think we got another intense stare coming up. Is it the next one or the one after that? Oh! Also by Crude Oil. Clearly you don't understand how airlocks work, Morgan. And also you don't own an air fryer. Isn't that right, Zach? You can't fry the air if, you, if you're if you afraid to wear a uh, to suit. Uh, to take your suit off. I messed that up. Oh, well. Isn't that right, Zach? What's wrong, Morgan? Take off the helmet and have a beer with me. The weather is perfect. Wow. All the, is, that a, is that a face in the landscape there? That's, um... Kind of unsettling. The power. There's something kind of kind of creepy about that. Just I'm just gonna sit sit there here on the on the surface of the moon, and drinking trees detected. I like the the naked astronaut run. I'm having fun with that. I wonder if they patched it. Esker is this normal? Zelda One has this nice quality of, of it having cool, varied designs for each character and armor customization with rather nice designs for the characters. The out there armor could be put on everyone. The buff dude showed more skin than the women sometimes, and some women just dressed like that because they were co they were confident. They actually dressed themselves. Zelda Blade Two like characters. Zelda Blade Two like characters are in three, and they actually wear reasonable outfits too. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Oh, you loaded this one ahead of time, so you're missing one fan art. Oh, am I? If I hit refresh, will it come back? Will it add? What is this? What is does this art style have a name? It kind of reminds me of uh, what Oberdin bit Ober, Ober, Oberdin does, but um, not exactly. Half tones, far side, <laughs> just dithering. I feel like I've asked this question before. It's one bit using dithering. Okay. 
I'm gonna nod and pretend I understand what that means, but I'll, I'll try and remember it for next time, because I feel like I have asked this before. Thank you, Crude Oil. And the last one, I think. Analysis. This is this is just a this is just a succubus now. Joseph Anderson video game analysis analysis. Thank you, Harmva. Fan art sandwich. Har Harmva sandwich. We start with Harmva. We end with Harmva. Is this the line? No, the line one isn't isn't in the fan art. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Reload for the newest fan art. It would have been before this one. So the 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 Harmva sandwich uh, integrity um, sustains. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna reload. You have to tell me fucking five times. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We'll give it. Let's let's just chill. Let's just wait. We're okay. Reload. Reload. Are these elf ears? Are these always elf ears? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, thank you, Harmva. Very again, very blurst and surprisingly the horny fan art, even for, for us this week. Pretty horny. Alright, I'm going to uh, make the fan art go away for a second, and then I'm gonna hit refresh. Okay, and now we're right back to the beginning, and I'm gonna cycle through. Oh man. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you, Amino Rochi. Just started watching the Rabby Ribby stream, so I had to make Bunny Girl Joe. Holy shit. Holy shit. The power, the strength. Do we count this one as a handsome Joe? We'd have to ask the artist for intent, I guess. This 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 is jacked. Holy crap. It's amazing that when you get this jacked, you can literally wear whatever you want and you will pull it off. D literally anything. When once you're that jacked, it doesn't matter what you wear, you can pull it off. I, I dream of becoming that jack so I could do that, so I have that power. It's true, it's absolutely true. Absolutely. He can't pull off a clown costume? I think he could. Oh, I didn't notice the bunny girl outfit? <laughs> Where did your eyes go? Damn, look Look at this. Look at the scales. Very detailed. Damn, pretty good. Pretty good. The texturing is incredible. Maybe that's what I was looking for. I'm not. I, I am not very um, uh, educated in anything uh, in, in in visual arts. So I don't have the vocabulary to 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 do a lot of the fan art justice that we get. But I try. I do my best. Artwordsy. Artwordsy. Yes. Joe Art Class Stream One. Well, you you all teach me. Anyway, and that is fan art for, for this week. Uh, as always, we're going to show them all again for five seconds each. Let me go back to the beginning. I'm going to do a five count in my head. Let's put some music on so it's not that awkward. There you go, because I'm not going to be talking. All right, here we go.
Oh, well, I can't play the whole thing again, so thank you, Kudo. And that is found out. Thank you very much. Bro hates Starfield so much, he literally drags fan art section right now to not play. No, I do this with all the fan art sections. The fan art sections go on for quite a while. I like, I, I really appreciate the fan art we get. Um, I need to be in like a, not a high energy place, but I need to be in like a, not a low energy place to do fan art because I want to give it the attention it deserves. And I also like, I don't want to show someone's fan art and just like put it on the screen for like 10 seconds and just immediately move on to the next one. I like to talk about it. I like, I like to let it stay on the screen because, you know, people put work into it and we have some very talented artists and um, uh, I think they deserve it to be shown. Like, yeah. <clears throat> I'm wrong, sorry. Uh, yeah, but someone, usually my philosophy for chat messages is that if someone says something, then there might be a bunch of other people thinking it and they're just not saying it. There's a marble. Someone asked where, where Cream Chan came from. Very interesting choice of words there. Uh, Cream Chan comes from the uh, when we did a ranking of all the streams, and the top tier was Cream of the Crop. So that's like the streams turned into cream. It's the stream is cream. It's a cream stream. If it's really good, it's 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 a cream stream. If it's if it's pretty good, then it's great vegetables. That that those were the rankings we did of the uh, of the streams. Not a not a not a bad stream. Was the tier list of the streams itself a cream stream? Ooh, ooh. I don't know. I think it was at least great vegetables. Okay, uh, we're still not ready to start the game because I need to say thank you to people. There's a marble redemption. Uh, we need to do our spin, spin introduction and then we're going to start the game. But once a week we have a stream like this where there's a lot of um, pre-chat um, show stuff. Do, do, do. Break, time. Break time is in 40 minutes, yeah. We're not doing spins, actually. We're not going to do a spin introduction. All right, uh, let's do... Streamer, I can't bet marbles because of the law in my country. May I please have a weeb absolution? What do you mean? What do you mean? You know what? You know what? I'm in a good mood. Jahions, you are no longer a weeb. Go forth and be a normie. But just because I have taken your weebness away does not mean the weebery cannot return. You must live a life of no anime from now on. If you go onto your anime list right now, for any reason other than deleting it, you are now a weeb once more. All right, Twuki, are you here, Twuki? Twuki has bought a marble. What is your anime, Twuki? Apparently the tearless stream was cream. I'm not seeing Twuki. Ghost in the shell, smiley face, original complex. What's original complex? Ghost in the shell, original complex. Ghost in the shell, standalone complex? Wait, does the weeb absolution involve hentai? Yeah, you can't watch that anymore if you've been absolved of being a weeb. Ghost in the Shell. All right. The series takes place in the year 2030, where people have become cyborgs with prosthetic bodies. All of them primarily set in Newport City in the fictional Japanese prefecture of Nihama, the series follows members of Public Security Section 9, a special operations task force made up of former military officers and police detectives, when they go back to now government-mandated second high school that everyone has to go through when, when they hit 30 to make sure that their education doesn't fall behind. 
while the group in <laughs> I made that up while in investigations with into two incidents that embroiled the group in corruption within other branches of the Japanese government. Okay, this sounds a little, this sounds serious. It might be good. I don't want to read the season synopsis on Wikipedia because it might um it might uh what you call it uh have spoilers yeah ghost and shell is, is like to me is is in the same level of like death note and cowboy bebop it's brought up a lot and it seems to be fairly serious you don't see a lot of memory around cowboy bebop and ghost in the shell anyway mark is complete that is on the list i assume akira, yeah akira is like that too yeah Ghost in the Shell movie is so good. The one with Scarlett Johansson? I thought people didn't like that one. Interesting that you like it, Chatter. Huh. Alright. Maybe I'll check it out. Anyway, let us get... Uh... Starfield on. I know I'm probably out of myself as a weeb, but Ghost in the Shell Sack is legit one of the best anime out there. Oh, you, you've done that way before, Annie. Don't worry about it. After the ab comment earlier, just the stream. Just the stream. Death Note is really a mixed bag. Probably ends really well, right? Press any button to start. All right. I hope you are uh, strapped in for what is going to be such a rollicking time chat because um, I'm just going to play the game however I want today and I don't give a crap if it's entertaining or not. So, like, hopefully we find a way to make it entertaining. I will try and talk as much as possible, but that's that. Uh... Oh yeah, we, we stole the ship. All right, first things first on the realist. All right, we're going to go back to um, the lodge. We're going to upgrade our ship because um, Sereth... Sereth made a video <laughs> to show me how to update my ship. All right, so Sereth... Sereth, if you don't know, Sereth is the is the coder for the uh, for the game that we're making. Uh, Wuggy is the artist. Honestly, um, so must be freezing. No, I'm fine, actually. I don't feel anything at all. Um, so Sereth knows and has been conditioned that sometimes for Joe to understand something, Joe needs a very straightforward, here's a video of how to do it, motherfucker. <laughs> something you might be interested in. <laughs> yeah, we're home. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> all right. I want to sleep. Is an hour enough to heal? Had a good sleep? All right, it's good. All right, so I'm concerned because I'm up, I'm gonna upgrade this module. Can I? Will all my shit survive? Let's find out. What? What again? What can I help you with? Actually, yes, I do. Here you are. I. You hitting the reefer, love? Like what? Bye for now. Okay. What did she give us? Was it a leaf? Captain. Anything I can help you with? Got anything you need to offload? Trader. Sure. How about it? Okay. So here's what you do. Apparently, you go here and you just rip the head off. Shit. Uh, upgrade ship. You just, you just, you select the head, you rip it off. No? Uh-oh. Select the different parts? No, not this. Inspect? G? Inspect? Sh ship built B. Sorry, we press B first. We rip the head off. Alright, then we hit this piece, and we delete it. And then we go here, and we click on the point. No, we don't. We don't do that. Shit. Uh, add? Attach G. G. And then we attach something here. Alright, now we're gonna go to... Uh, we want a new piece. I don't know what it is, though. That I didn't pay attention to. Uh, ha habs! Alright. So we want we want the biggest hab there is. 
Do we want this one? With an engineering bay. How much is it? It's going to add a lot of mass. Max crew plus one. All right, here we go. I'm kind of feeling the biggest one, chat. Should we do the biggest one? Passenger slots, two. Hmm. Crew stations, one. Maybe we don't want the absolute biggest one. Maybe we want this one first. It's not that much that difference in terms of mobility though, right? Let's go with the big one. All right, and then we're gonna we're gonna attach this back here and then we're gonna move the feet up. I don't know if that's important, but we're gonna do it. So we're moving the feet up. All right, and now, now we can add some shit. Now we're cooking with gas. All right, so I'm gonna click on here. I'm not, I'm not gonna click on here. Nope, nope, back. All right, attach. All right, we're going to attach. Can we attach another hab? Rotate. Rotate, please, rotate. No, no, ro oh, we can. We can put another companion way here. Interesting. Can we put it up top? <gasps> we can. Oh. Okay. Can we upgrade our exit bay to have a container to store our contraband because they won't be able to see that oh we didn't move it up oh no it's broken it's we've we broke oh go back go no 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 back 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 all right we did it hold on one second i want to move that yeah we did it all right all right i think this is it all right hold on let's see i want to flight check all systems normal all right we're good all right, so let's exit out. Yes, accept. All right, and I want to see if it's if our shit's still in there. I didn't save it, did I? Uh oh. I must have a normal save beforehand. Gone one hundred percent. I also think it's gonna be gone. Jensen? Jensen, no! No! See you, Space Cowboy. Alright, so all of our shit is gone, which makes sense. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, he's gone. It might be in the cargo. There's no way it's in the cargo. Where is the cargo? here oh it is it did go in the cargo or is that our inventory no it is that is it right it did go in the cargo all of our shit's in the cargo right huh i am really surprised at that okay here's the problem i need to have that that um that terminal because otherwise we're not going to be able to be the naked cowboy we 100 percent need to have that terminal so how are we going to do that Where's, where's the hab that has the, the terminal on it? Let's load. Well, first of all, I want to see if um, if he went down below the ship. He probably didn't, right? I don't think so. Yes, we've all seen everything. <laughs> now put your clothes back on.
So am I dumb for not understanding the shipbuilding like that? To have to remove a piece before upgrading it? I feel like maybe that's on me. I feel like maybe that I was just being dumb and wasn't experimenting enough with it. No? Yeah? Chat seems to be a bit mixed. Okay, I want to load. I want to load uh, the autosave in Frontier, maybe? Let's see. Let's load it. Nine percent yes equals mix. Oh, I only glanced at chat once and it seemed mixed to me. I saw a bunch of no's and yeses. That's not it. All right, so we're gonna fast travel back to to uh, New Atlantis. Are you gonna get jacked and wear a 2B outfit? I mean, if I if I got jacked, I would do that. Yeah, sure. If you're trying to impress me, you're going about it all wrong. And yet you keep giving me stuff. Interesting. All right. Hello. Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. Oh yeah. You came up to me. All right. Let's do a hard save here. All right. And I want to. Hey, what can I do for you? I want to modify my ship. How about it? Okay, can I, instead of, what, what's this piece up here? I want to modify it. What's this piece? This is, can I just take all the pieces off and then rearrange them again afterwards? All right, what's this? This is the docker on the top, and this is the structural components that are largely cosmetic and allow you to modify your ship's shape, per size, precise silhouette. So this... This does nothing. Oh, it, uh, okay, this is like a just a, a piece that the weapons are put on. All right. So I want this piece to stay, and it's called a Nova Galactic Frontier 2x1. All right, so what if I take this and delete it? Or let's... Is there is there a different one that is like Nova... Two by one. Is there a, a better one? Nova Galactic. This is the one we went with. Nova Galactic Engineering Bay, right? What if we go all in one berth? What are these lines here? Variant. Okay, so. A, B, armory, captain's quarters, computer core, control station, infirmary, living quarters, science lab, workshop. Huh. Okay. What about the all-in-one? What does the all-in-one do? Let's put that here. And then let's sh shove everything back. Alright, that looks fine. And then we exit tab. Yeah, accept. All items we move to the cargo hold. Nice. All right, so confirm. All right, and then we're going to... Okay, I, I want to have that that sh that ship, or the table. And if we can't get it, then maybe we'll just add another piece on top. All right, we do. All right, so we have it. It's still here. Navigation console. Okay, this seems like it's exactly the same. Did I just put the same one back on again? I did, didn't I? I thought it was longer. Alright, let's load it. So I think we have to add upgrades to the top of the ship, make the ship bigger rather than um make it Needs longer you should inspect your ship for heat leeches sure how about it okay i also want to see can we can we get a different docking bay No, this one can't come off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, is it 
do you connect it here? It gotta be connecting it here, right? Here. Alright, landing bay. Alright, so that's the one we had before, right? The N6 is what we had before, right? So let's get this one. That looks like it's a bigger landing bay, right? And do we just want to add another um, module to the top? Like maybe a, a crew quarters module on top and then we can add some cargo to it. That sounds like it might be good, right? Let's do that. So let's add a crew quarters module. How do we do that? Can I can I go back actually? Let's just add a crew quarters module. Um, dockers. No, I don't care about that. Engine, fuel tanks, gear, grab drives. Habs? That's what we have here, right? So do we want like armory captain's quarters? Infirmary. This one adds crew. Computer core. This one adds two two crew. Control station. Infirmary. All right, let's add this one. The control station. All right, and I'm gonna add it. Where am I gonna add it? All right, we're just gonna add it to the top. And then how how does that work? Do you do we use a ladder to get up there? Can we climb up even further? I don't know how that's gonna work. And then we can add this back here, this here, right? Why, why won't you attach up? What's wrong with this one? Is that a different kind of attachment? There are square attachments and there are circle attachments? Press R. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's really weird. All right, that one's not on me. Fuck that. I'm not taking that one. All right, and that's we can add four cargo extenders here to to give ourselves huge cargo increases. So now we want um cargo, shield, structural base, cargo. All right, and what is the, what is the highest cargo that we can get right now? This is 240, 300. So 300 cargo, 225. But what's what's the downside? It's really, really lowering our mobility. Do I care? Do I care? You can strap on more engines, can I? Is that something you think I can do? Both of you to think I can do that? Alright, so we can add cargo. No, I can't? No, down. Uh, how do I go down? F. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have so much cargo. How do I rotate? Flip. All right, there we go. So much cargo. We have no no mobility whatsoever. All right, so now we have to add some engines. How are we doing that? What are we ripping off to add more engines? That's the grav drive. Do we just add a structural thing to add more engines here? Structure. Oh, fuck, I keep... All right, would better engines do the job? What engines do we have? We have... White Dwarf 2000 engine. All right. Uh, you might have to replace your reactor to support better. At this point, I just build a different ship. What the hell? This is so pricey. Nova 1000 engine. Oh. Oh. -ho. Okay, those those do way more, right? Engine thrust, maneuvering thrust. All right, that's way better. 
That's way better. All right, let's do that. Let's get another one of these. Uh, flip it. All right. Let's make it asymmetrical just to piss off chat. For no reason, the engine for this one is just a little higher, chat. There you go. That's the engine. Sorry, I don't make the rules. That's what it's like. That's what it's like. All right, what do we do for these ones? Delete? If we delete, do we get the money back for it? All right, there you go. There you go. I wouldn't do that to you. How do we upgrade the engine? What's the engine? Is this the engine? This this is the reactor. Sorry, the reactor. How do we upgrade the reactor? So we're deleting it. Power generated 14. I want more power. I want more power. Let's power generated. Can, can we fit it in? All right. And uh, reactor. Reactor. All right. 14. Oh, this is 18. All right. Why won't it fit? Three errors, you say. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. R? All right. That fits. All right. What are the errors? What doesn't it like? Ship cannot be finalized due to errors in flight check. Exit will undo all changes. Exit, no. Let's do a flight check. Okay. Ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. What? Need more grav jump thrust. Reduce mass. Okay, so I can I have two reactors? I would like a second reactor, please. No. Okay, where where is the energy I need to to make this work? I would like to know what I need to do to fix it. Like where where is the stat that I'm missing here? Up your butt. Oh, nice one, chatter. Nice one. The thrusters are the problem. It's got to be the thrusters, right? Or the engines. All right, if I take them off and I delete, and then I add just better ones on, but not those ones, will it work? So white dwarf 2010 engine. All right, one error. Ship is too heavy to grab jump, reduce mask or increase grab jump thrust. All right, so we want to put a new grab jump. All right. I'm, I'm having so much fun with like, oh, now do this instead. This is so much fun. All right, grav engine. Now it's going to like throw our fucking uh, reactor offline, isn't it? I don't know which one we had. This is the best one. Let's just put it on. There we go. Are we good now? Ship contains... All right, it's not that one. What about this one? One warning. Reduce mass or add engines to mobility. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. This is this is just a pack mule ship. I don't give a shit about the mobility. It's fine. All right, there we go. We're done. All right. We're spending all our money. All right, except Yay! What? What the fuck was that? Vasco, you okay, buddy? Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Return soon. He's just stuck.
Okay, so, like, there's nothing up here. This is just people- I wanted beds. How do I get bed? Oh shit, how do I get beds? Anyway, let's sleep for an hour. It was an hour. What the fuck are you talking about? All right, we have this. That's good. I'm glad we still have this. We can jump. What's our cargo um, looking like? Is it, are we really healthy now? Ho ho! 1650! Nice. All right. All right. So, I feel like new strategy when it comes to loot. All right? Loot algorithm 2.0. Loot algorithm. I will loot every aid because they're really low in mass. And they're good in value, and also we might need to do it for, for cooking. I will loot every resource. I'm going to be really picky about the miscellaneous shit I pick up, alright? I'm not going to pick up any miscellaneous shit now. I'm only going to pick up weapons and equipment if they are rare or over. So if, they're, if they have colors on them, I'll get them. If they're gray, I'm just leaving them behind, okay? I think... I think that's it. If there's something that's really high in value, like contraband or whatever, then that's then that's probably better. It's it's our space truck. Yeah, you're right. It's space truck build. All right. First of all, though, I forgot to check something. Hey. You've got something for me. No, you got something for me. Fishing for a handout, eh? <laughs> Bitch, you asked. Amino acid stock. Thank you. All right. Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. All right, we got our first aid kit. Oh, it's still two masks. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, there's only one now. That's even less contraband smuggling that we can do. That's a cool detail. I like that. What if we added a module on the bottom of the ship that has a container? Okay, let's see. What if I put one on the bottom? Is that possible? I I bet you nothing can attach to this. Is is the issue? Uh, ship builder. What's this? Cargo hull. Cargo hold. Take it off. Hold on. Wait. Hold one second. Oh! <gasps> All right. What can we add here? Oh my god. 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 All right. What are we adding? What are we adding? Landing. Another landing bay. Yes. All right. Here we go. I like that. Let's have let's have two ways to get in and off the ship. All right, here we go. I'm good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I'm good. No, I'm fine with it. What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Landing bay needs to be connected to. Ah, that's lame. All right. That's lame. All right. What are we putting on? Engines, habs. Just put another hab down here. What hab are we putting down here? Storeroom. 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 All right, let's put a storeroom down here, and then let's see. I'm fine with it, yeah. What? Where's my storeroom? What? Bed. Put some clothes on. What? Why can't I add a door? Hey, couldn't catch the other streams. How does this game compare to other Bethesda games? It's really different. If you love Bethesda games for a certain reason, you might not like them f for in this one. But it's too early to tell if it's if it's a good game or not. Um, I'm confused. Why why didn't this make a door? I don't understand. Anyway, let's load the quick save that we made. Where's our quick save? Oh, I just. It's not connected to other Habs, but there's a connection there. Okay, never mind. I didn't quick save it. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, all right, let's go back. Hi. Hey, how's it going? All right, are we still turtle ship? We are. All right. Anything I can help you with? Sure. How about it? Okay, is there anything that we can add to this that will make a doorway appear in the back like some other ships do? Is there anything at all? I, I'm guessing no. Structural porthole? Largely cosmetic. All right. Bracer? Honestly, anything that has a, um, uh, what you call it? Anything that has a, a container is good enough. It doesn't look like it's gonna, it's gonna work. Todd thought of it. You can connect the different parts like this. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm digging the sh the shipbuilding a little bit. I think it could be fun. step. Haha, <laughs> for you maybe. Oh no! My hubris! Okay, I am curious. I'm gonna guess yes. But if I drop something on the outside of the ship up here... Will I be able to see it when I go inside the ship? Alright, there are two mines here. So the outside of the ship right now is the same instance of at New Atlantis than on the inside of the ship. Even though when the ship moves, the whole ship doesn't move. It just teleports this room to a copy of your ship somewhere else. And the, and the reason and the way we figured that out was because if you put anything on the bottom of the ship or the outside of the ship, um, it doesn't come with you when you move. Like even if it's on the inside of the ship and uh, in the bottom, um, it'll it'll still. We, we put something in the bottom part of the ship on the moon, and then we flew to Mars, and it wasn't there. And then we flew back to the moon, and it was back in the bottom when we got there. So that's that's not how it works. Um, okay, so I can go back up and get those if I care enough. Um, I'm guessing if I fly somewhere right now, if I fly somewhere right now, the mines will be gone. So let's let's fly back here. And they're going to be gone. Yeah, they're gone. And now, when I fly back 
to New Atlantis, they're going to be back. Or will they be below and they fell? Huh. I actually don't know. Yeah, they're there. Okay. I'm learning. Okay, so now that I have a ship that has a decent amount of cargo hold, I want to clean out my cargo of all the shit that I don't want, um, especially all the weapons and everything. And then I want to I want to explore a, an area on the planet. Although a bunch of people were saying yesterday they want me to do a side quest to see if there's a good side quest. Is that dartboard? And I'm not adverse to doing that, but like, how am I gonna find a good side quest? What if I find a bad side quest? What if I find a radiant side quest? Does it just duplicate the ship at every location? Yeah, I'm guessing so. It's like the, the Fallout camp. And But th this is static. The interior of your ship gets teleported, I guess. Do you think it would... It would um, do you think it's just... Like, this is its own like level, and it's just accessing the same one every single time? Because otherwise, it would like everything that that's on the ground wouldn't move the right way, right? So I'm guessing that this... The reason why there's this loading transition is because this is always the same, and it just changes what you can see outside of it. Right? It's got to be like that, right? Can you drop an item in the cockpit and see if you can see it from the outside? Yeah, we can try that. I'll, I'll run out after, after I do it with, with some of the stuff that we get. Let me throw... Um, what should we throw? The mines? Oh. Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, oh, well, that's there forever. Okay, uh, let's... um. What's the biggest thing we have? All right, let's take the packs. We're gonna take the packs and we're gonna sell them. So take all, take all. All right, we took it all. All right, let's put everything back in that we're gonna keep. All right, so weapons. So we're gonna keep, I don't think we should keep, we should just sell this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this stuff back with me in order to sell it. Let's keep all the epic stuff that we find, just in case we start using that. But blues and below, we will sell. We don't need to keep. All right, so blues and below, we're, we're gonna sell. Uh, I actually wanna keep one of these to wear in case we need to start wearing uh, armor at some point. And I'm gonna keep, I think this one is the best one that we have. Um, yeah, so we're gonna keep those. Everything else we're selling. Packs, we're keeping the space trucker pack. I'm wearing that, so that's fine. I won't sell it when I get there. Uh, apparel. Should we keep all the clothes we find? What's the mass on it? The mass is pretty low. I, I feel like collecting clothes is not a bad idea, right? Let's let's keep all the clothes that we find. Because what if we want to do some, some fashion field? Throwables. Uh, we actually are using uh, grenades and frag mines, so let's uh, store those. Um, aid, we're keeping all the aid. Can I store all the aid? No, I can't. I have to go through this. Great. Have you played Faith the Unholy Trinity? I've never heard of it, Shatter, sorry.
Wait, was that contraband? We're also keeping all of our resources. Store all resources. We can do that one. Store all resources. All right, and we're selling. I want for. I'm keeping the alien egg because I feel like the alien egg might be useful for something. Circuit boards. The rest of this miscellaneous shit. I don't think we're gonna need. And we're gonna keep all of our um, digi picks. Where are those? All right. I think that's everything, right? Everything else we can sell. Let's keep all the ammo. Oh, helmets. Uh, we're gonna keep. That's 15% less physical damage from ranged weapons. Um, let's keep the blue helmets. We'll sell the rest. And I think that's it, right? Notes, the notes, this one has mass. Let's keep all the books. Okay, I think I'm good now, right? I can sell everything else that I have. All right, so what's something heavy that we can put on here that will show through the through the ship outside when we look through? Because I don't want to have to climb up again. Um, a helmet? <sighs> okay. Can I drop? What can I move after I've dropped it? What's heavy here? Mass. A board game. Alright, we're going to move a board game. Pick it up. Hold E to pick it up. No? Really? Z? It's, it's, no, in this game it's E. Galley, use. Oh, we can cook here. It was Z in Oblivion? Yeah, it was. In this game it's hold E. Maybe Z works too? Let me find it. Z does not work. Hold E? Alright, that's weird. Alright, looks like that is lodged there. There we go. Let go. Okay, we're gonna go on the top of the ship, because I'm done with this. I missed the memo about clothes being optional today. You did, actually. Yep. How can I be of service, Captain? How's performance been for Joe? I think it's been pretty good. It hasn't, hasn't uh, dipped at all. My computer is not, like, uh, cutting edge anymore, but it's my computer's decent. Uh, we're selling this. Sell? No. Buy? No, I want to sell. I'm confused. Sell from inventory. Alright. No. Sell from ship inventory. Okay. So this is what we're on currently. Alright. Sell. It's not. This is what we're on currently. This is what we have in our, in our in our backpack right now, or is this a ship inventory? If it was a ship inventory, we'd have a bunch of aid, right? So this this is ours. We are selling to the vendor right now, correct? Yeah, we are selling to we're selling to the vendor right now. Sorry, I'm confused with all the shit we have in inventory. I was expecting to have this much. All right, so we're gonna sell all of our weapons except for one cutter, and we are gonna quickly exhaust this guy's inventory, money. Yeah, I don't care. All right, and now we're just gonna now we're gonna go back in the ship and wait for an hour. Gameplay. Not cutting edge. Don't you have a three thirty ninety and a thirty two gigabyte of RAM? Yeah, and like um, Nvidia is on like the four thousand series now, right? Like there's a whole generation I'm behind on now. No, don't get me wrong. My computer is really good. I'm really happy with my computer. I don't want a better computer, but like it's I I don't want to like represent my computer as being like I have like top of the line. I don't. You know, like there's there's better now. And the only reason I have that much RAM is, is for video editing. Do I have 32 or 64? I'm not sure if I, I might have 64. I can't remember. You don't need that much RAM for, for, for gaming, but you do need it for video editing. Other vendors have higher caps? Maybe. 
Maybe I should put it back in the ship inventory and sell it from there. What videos? Oh, nice one, Shatter. You got it. Oh. I have like over like, what, like 30 hours of content on YouTube, but yeah, what videos? <sighs> Oh, we're over time. This takes too long. That hit a nerve. I hope not, because I want people to feel um, welcome here. If they want to riff, it's fine. I don't want to dunk on anyone too hard. Vendor sell, sell the rest of the weapons. Yeah, close enough. Really? This is gonna take like like three more trips, isn't it? I don't want to dunk anyone too hard. Remember, Joe, remember that time you scammed 20 chatters out of 100 monocoids? They got what they paid for. They went on the wheel with better odds. I I kept my promise. I kept my vow, but God only knows what I could do right now. Yeah, I, I did it. I did it. Sell from Cardo. But then I'm going to forget what I wanted to sell and what I wanted to keep. And I... It'll take more than that. Appreciate the lift. Now that's it then. Okay, uh, someone's knocking on the door, and also it's been two hours. Uh, I need to say thank you to people. I'll do that when I get back. Um, let's take a break right now. Be right back. Five minutes. You, uh, forgetting something? Got any? Yeah, sorry, I was chewing. I didn't want to. I didn't want to chew, but I still need to to, to get this done. Trade authorities. Right, am I still too heavy? God yeah, damn it! The, the the fucking things are so heavy. Maybe we should put them in the cargo hold after all, and self in the cargo hold when we go to. We can go back to him after we sleep, and then we could go back to the well, and we can sell there, and we can do two trips. Things for you. Fort Break, you spoke of people being welcome here. I know it's a lot of riffing here, and so, but I feel really welcome and enjoy these streams and the community and the jokes. All right, where's the bit, K? Especially in tough times. Thank you for this place, Joe, in full seriousness. I'm so serious. I said a lot on purpose. Oh. Oh, shit, uh, that is genuine. Thank you, K, that's sweet. But I'm still not playing Zombie Chronicles. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right, this is the from our inventory. All right, let's put our spacesuits in. All right, and then we're gonna put our helmets in. And then we're gonna put our, we're gonna. I think we should keep the miscellaneous, so so we so we do it. All right, let's take the spacesuit that we're gonna wear in case of emergencies out, which is this one. Let's take the helmet that we're gonna wear in case of emergencies out, which is this one. 
And by emergencies, I mean the, the bug that we have going wears off. Uh, and that's it, right? Hold on. I want to take all the... I want to take the med kits that we have. Med packs. All right. And I need to put this med pack in, in the med thing downstairs or else we're going to trigger the contraband. You didn't check if you get the mine in the cockpit front side. You could have a look. I, I wanted to um, get our inventory down first because uh, I'm not going to be able to get there with um, with losing inventory whenever I move. All right, let's sleep. I'll check in when we go outside. Someone said you, you, can, you can move it after the sleep starts? Nope. I don't remember this taking this long in Skyrim. Maybe it was? Haven't tuned into many too many star Starfield streams for various reasons. What's the bug? Oh, I get to say it again. All right, Chatter, let me take you on a journey. So, if you find an airlock anywhere in the game that is a seamless airlock, which means that you go through one airlock, hit a door to open it, and then close the door when you get inside, and then you go in into an interior location. That is like, there's no loading in the airlock. If you do that, if you go through the airlock and then fast travel from inside the location back to the outside, the airlock effect that lets you breathe without a, a space suit persists. So if you fast travel outside after using an airlock, you can then breathe outside in space. In fact, you can even like survive like extreme temperatures in, in, in Venus and in any planet or whatever. You can do that. Something you might be interested in. Hold E to press it. Press E while holding it and then move. With the um with the sleep? Okay, if we have to sleep again, I'll check it. Man, we've gotten good at this. Alright, so we're checking to see if we can see items inside the ship from the outside. I'm gonna guess no. No, you can't. Interesting. Not only that, the door is closed and I left it open. So the inside of your ship is not the actual inside of the ship from the outside. Is that correct? Okay, so now we're going to sell from from ship. Sell from ship. And we're going to sell the spacesuits. And we're going to sell this one. And this one. And this one. This one. And then this one. I don't care if it's a little over. That's fine. And then we're good. And now we're going to go to the well and see if we can get there quickly. And then we're going to sell from there. We're looking for an elevator. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. And I haven't forgotten to say thank you. I just I just want to get this out of my system right now before I forget to sell everything. And then we're going to only loot things that we really want. We're going to control ourselves. We're not going to do it. I suddenly need to pee again. I don't know why. Where's the elevator good to go down to the well? Oh, do you guys sell? Can I sell things to you? Will you buy junk? Hello, owl lady. There's a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on display. Thanks. It's <gasps> hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. If it weren't for him, I don't know. Oh, please take a look. Okay, sell from ship. All right, will you buy spacesuits? You will. All right, just let me sell infinitely to to one person then. What what the what the. What the fuck? All right, so I'm not keeping any of these because I don't care. All right, I'm I'm keeping all my apparel, and I'm going to start selling. Um. Uh. Fuck. Uh. Miscellaneous stuff now, so I can just sell all the miscellaneous stuff. None of this is worth it, right? None of this is worth keeping. I can just, I can just sell this. Do we wanna do we wanna keep Wilbies? If we if we find any Wilbies, do we wanna keep them and start a collection like the like the like the sandwich lady from the trailer? 
That sounds fun. Let's keep the Wilbies. Tea steeper, you say? Pill bottle. Recruitment materials. Is that... That seems like it could be useful for research. There's no way this, this miscellaneous stuff would be used for research, right? There's no way. There's no way. All right, I think, oh, we also want to sell the packs. All right, and then one more. Appreciate the business. I am not trying to pester you, but I really do need a credit transfer. Is Baldur's Gate 3 stream never happening, or maybe sometime in the distant future? Enough of you have asked now that I think maybe it, it, it might be fine. So I don't know, maybe. Certainly. Please take your time. Hi, I would like to sell something to you, coffee shop. Would you like to buy some alien jerky? Managing. Okay. Well, manager. <clears throat> this is very Deus Ex. Okay, can I take this down to the well? Commercial? No, I can't. I, I think we're. I think we're good. Should we just drop whatever we have? What's What's left to, to sell? Like a pack, right? Who cares? Let's just drop it. All right, I think we're good now, right? We're empty. We're at 20 of 160. All right, there you go. It's there. And yet, I still get sick on the mat. Baldur's Gate 3 one off. Yeah, just to shut everyone up. That sounds good. This feels so much like Cyberpunk. This part of the game feels like cyberpunk, and when you're flying, when you're outside free roaming, it feels so much like No Man's Sky. I'm done inserting it, in, it into my previous messages. I'm just telling you directly. Play Xenoblade. <laughs> I'm no longer asking. All right. NASA Punk, nice one. Oh, we want to put our our um our contraband med pack in here where it belongs nice because that doesn't get scanned no, okay no, so no. get your clothes back on so i am ready i am g to g i'm good to go so let's let's review our our mass of our ship is 614 out of 1650 and the reason why it's so heavy is because of all the resources we have which we need in order to build some outposts so i'm keeping this i think this is a good idea to keep this to do some outpost building all right so that's what we're doing all right so we are we are this is a healthy amount of um of mass here Healthy, healthy mass, healthy girth, and in our inventory we have um, our miner to mine things. We have a space a spacesuit in case we need to use it, and a helmet. We have our pack to do the boost jump. We have some healing, and uh, we have we have no clothes because we only wear a hat, and that's it. All right, so that's that's that. That is that. Okay, so what are we doing? Here's what I want to do. I want to, and everyone's gonna groan. I want to go to a place on this planet and I want to fully explore it. And then I want to like spend a long time exploring the map and seeing what kind of random things we find. And then after that, I want to come back to New Atlantis and I want to explore the area around New Atlantis. And I want to see, I want to compare if there's interesting things to find in a randomly generated section compared to a handcrafted section with areas around it. Now, I'm, but in the sake of a variety, we've been on this planet for a while. I am willing, I am willing to do that on the next planet that has a city if anyone would like me to direct me to where the city is do we want to go to the cowboy city uh, there's a neon city too right do we want to go to the neon city i'm willing to do it on a different planet i don't care what planet it's on as long as the planet has a city neon and orion neon neon i heard neon is good all right let's go to the neon city then and hopefully the neon has like a, a place to uh to uh to explore all right so we'll go back off and it's an Orion. Orion. 
Orion. Are we even going to be able to get to Orion? Does red mean we can't get there? Neon doesn't have an outside. Oh. It, it's, it's a space station? It's in Volley. Let's pretend I didn't see where Volley is. Can I do a search for Volley? Is it in Valo? Volley, it's here. Alright, that's level 5. Can I get there? Why is it red? Is it red because I can't get there? You have not explored every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. Okay, so I have to jump here first and then go there. Interesting. Can I still just see the system, please? Or no? I have to go to Olympus first. Alright, let's jump to Olympus. We're just we're just here. Wow. Okay, so let me see this let me see the star system. Mining outpost, deserted mineral plant. Alright. Uh Thanatos. Okay. I'm here. I would I would like to go to Orion now, please. Or Volley. Volley. Alright, we did it. We leveled up for that. Nice. All right. All right, Neon. We're home. Okay, Volley Alpha. Volley Tau. Volley Beta. Volley Chi. Volley Epsilon. Volley Omega. This is the point where they gave up on giving all the planets unique names. We just don't give a shit anymore. All right. Um... Neon. Is this an ocean planet? Oh. Lamayo got him? Well, let's land and see it at least. Having another Twitch chat, don't tell Lily. This should have been the call, called Atlantis? Yeah, you're right, yeah. This should have been Atlantis. Alright then. I see a way back up. Just as Todd Howard intended. Alright, you jump up there, you jump up there, here we go. Gonna be close. Oh! So 
so I guess I have to fast travel back up if I if I do this. There's no way to get back up like normally. There is a way up. Where is it? Is it this? <laughs> Go here, jump up there, jump up there. Nah, there's no way. Um, I'm not seeing a way up, like for real. I thought this was gonna be a city, not like an, an oil rig. Is he playing near max settings? I am actually, and this it doesn't look very good down here, does it? Uh, let's just fast travel back to the ship. Man, I love that map. Uh, it looks like this because we're on a water planet. Uh, so, you know, rest assured that the other maps on the other planets are way, way better than this. This is just the water planet map. I have something for you when you have a moment. I have things for you. Hello, Captain. Yeah? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. These are horribly put together. These are horribly put together. Zero thought went into how these lines of dialogue would work together. And I, I'm sorry to harp on about it because they're because I mentioned them a lot. Um, Cedar Project is amazing at that. Cedar Project, like, it could still be way better, don't get me wrong. That's still in its infancy. But um, writing for video games and thinking about how characters are going to interact with those lines um, is not explored that much in games yet. And this sort of shit kills me. Just... Zero thought went into how players are going to um, interact with these lines and talk to the character after that comes up. Okay. It's like a weird lack of playtesting too. It's like someone who was in charge of that didn't get to have any input whatsoever because it's such an obvious problem. Love Cedar Project. I really do, actually. I really do. Like I even like Cyberpunk at launch, See but ironically, me on? you can you can climb it. You're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from I don't believe you, actually. There's no way that that's enough power. You look different on every planet. What is this? Something you need? Talk to you later. Need some work done? Hi, were you not expecting me? Hi there. Hey. Am I not from here? Did I did I not take that that one? Character. No, I am. Where, where's the line to say, to yeah, I know I'm from here? From your pocket. Ventriloquism now? Okay. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. good. We didn't look it down there. It looks good there. That looks really good. Joe, do you like the game yet? I'm trying. I'm trying. I thought she was going to say it again. F 
Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> I just met you, okay. Don't move, Nesha! What the hell's this about? Not the act. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you stepped through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. So, what was the plan? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, so. Mistake, right? Can't, can't we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayer's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move this feels like go. straight out of Skyrim, huh? What's when This is murder! You're on your own! Freeze! Neon security! Sorry. Sorry. I'm happy to pay the fine, but maybe you don't want to search but maybe you don't want need to search me for contraband. What? What stolen items? Smart move. Now, come along with us. We'll take any contraband. So Sarah's fine with stealing ships, but she's not fine with, with, with punching cops. Alright. No Aurora outside city limits. Got it? Okay. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Ooh. Oh, damn. This looks good. I like this. Well, with all signs pointing to the Astral Lounge, I suppose we should pay to visit. Purely for exploratory purposes, of course. Interesting. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. Okay, I'm digging this. This is good. Jetpacks for a reason, you know. Am I allowed in here? I am, okay. Choose floor. Huh, okay. Are you still naked? Of course. Naked astronaut. Naked astronaut! This is the naked astronaut. Because every day you earn. Feel like making a purchase today? Uh, do you have anything different? Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. I don't know who that is. So you're coming across as desperate? Sounds like you have a problem with Sieghart's place. Whoa, I'm detecting a bit of competition going on here. Healthy competition is one of the cornerstones of owning a business. Sea carts? What's that? Who's Rosa? <laughs> sea cart, sea cart, sea cart, sea cart, Rosa. Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. All right. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing. But Sea Cart's given me no choice. All right. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. So he's not a part of the uh, of the monopoly you got going on here, or I know duopoly. How how high does monopoly go? Triopoly, quadopoly. 
Keeping his place safe sounds like smart business to me. For all you know, he doesn't have a choice. Maybe you should just mind your own business. What kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? Yeah. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Uh-oh. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Secret makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Nope, you just lost a customer. I am there. going to find Seacart and purchase that. from him. Good day, sir. Good day, milady. Seacart. Seacart. C car Neon Tactical? That sounds like a C card place to me. Need a weapon? Maybe some ammo? If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. That's an awful way to treat a potential customer. Yeah, it's true. My store, my rules. Alright. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our um Complaints department. <laughs> you won't have any complaints from me. I'm here to spend some credits. A robot can't handle complaints. I prefer settling my distances with human beings, not emotionless robots. Who is sticks? All of these are bad. What? Uh, see that giant Model A right over there? Yeah, that sticks. And if I were you, I wouldn't get on his bad side. He has a very short temper a robot can't handle complaints hey he can handle millions of calculations per second a few complaints would be child's play for him you know i'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit i mean look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis uh, if i could find the asshole who did that i'd make him pay for the paint removal I could track the person down who defaced sticks if you like. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Well, maybe I misjudged you. I'm only doing it to get paid. I can't allow an assault like that to go unpunished. I could pay for the paint removal if you want. What? Why would someone spray your robot with graffiti? Look. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm not the most popular guy on the block. And that suits me fine. But this person took it too far, made it personal. I'm not about to let some delinquent hassle the only friend that I have. I can't allow an assault like that to go unpunished. I'm picking this, but I gotta be clear, I'm making fun of you. Huh. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. Oh my god. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near you for Oh, you now. know who it is! Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. Yeah. Why is Warlord targeting you? Warlord's one of the disciples. One of Neon street gangs that claims it. Oh my god. Abside. How deep does this graffiti Ten racket go? Back, the gang tried to break in here and rob my place, but Styx put one of them down and sent another to Reliant on a stretcher. He and his buddies have been harassing me ever since, mostly by scaring away my customers and stealing my deliveries. Warlord still swears he'll get even with me. And he came pretty damn close when he somehow managed to disable Styx and sprayed him with paint. It feels like it's only a matter of time before he gets past sticks, and I'm done for. Oh, this is serious. Yeah, the graffiti. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's not my business. What happened to your eye? It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Colony War. I was a ground pounder. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. They pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the crash. So what you're saying is, is that you used to be an adventurer like me until you took an EM round to the eye. Okay, interesting. All right, what do you have for sale? You've got the credits. I've got what you need. All right. 
Do you have a knuckle weapon? Ooh, that looks good. Modified arc welder. Huh. The buzz cut. I like the weapons. The weapons look really good. Nope. No fist weapon. It's not looking good for fist weapons. You know, sticks. Crime in the city gets worse by the day. Vans, thieves, gangs. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please You're please. mad about this? What Looks rad as hell. Can he do I mine? I have one. People in charge. Let it happen. What the hell? I'm this sorry. is. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Yeah, you're sorry. You're always goddamn sorry. Try actually doing something about it for once. Security scan complete. Threat level minimal. Enjoy your stay. I want this. I want this. How's the gun play, Joe? I wouldn't know. Ha ha ha! You rascal, let's go! How's this month I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I'm asking for the sales report. Understood. Okay, uh, so this is interesting. I want to explore it. I feel like you could spend a lot of time here. I wonder if the um, if the cities are going to be where the more interesting parts of the Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a load screen here. You can walk around without clothes all you want. Mine are staying on. Come on in, please have a good look around. I wonder if the cities are really going to find more of the traditional Bethesda style. Uh, gameplay, which is weird because the cities in Bethesda games are usually dog shit. Great. But this one feels pretty good. Blend, you bring the chunks. It's a date. A Nothing more reduction to watching the lightning strikes. Well, as long as you're not afraid of lightning. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Shop by the loading screens. Yeah, why is there a loading screen to get into the store? Maybe there's a big basement here. That's quite a, the, a bold claim. I'll take every artifact you have in stock. An artifact? Are you making this up? Well, like I said, if I don't have it, you don't need it. The dialogue but is I have active. A lot of other things you need. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time. Look around. Ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Do you think it was a good trade off to do space flight and the ship this way and just fast travel everywhere so the items work as it does with all it being saved in every cell? I IMO, the immersion is so much worse. Yeah, um, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I'm hoping that there's going to be a really good progression system here with sending up outposts and going from planet to planet and doing all the shit. Um, and I'm hoping that there's a lot of interesting stuff in the generation that I just haven't found yet. Um, but right now. Okay, so when you go into a game that's made by a developer that you have played a lot of their games, especially if it's like, usually it's in a series, but sometimes it's, um, they make the same kind of games over and over and over again. Like, um, everyone's favorite FromSoft, like, there are a lot of similarities between Dark Souls, Bloodborne, yeah. and Elden Ring. This is Orkford. Yeah, like, I'm bringing up Dark Souls, I know. Um, even Sekiro, which is very different, has a lot of similarities, even though they're different games. Um, Z Nintendo with Mario and Zelda. Uh, and Bethesda games are all the same, or, or not all the same, but they're very similar in a lot of ways too. Probably the mo more same than the other ones, the examples that you just went through. Um, that's why the Zelda, the Breath of the Wild video, not enough Zelda, is is a problem, and a lot of people don't don't get this, is that when you go into a game series, that game series might might be the, the only source of providing the kind of gameplay that you want, and that developer is the only one that, that gives that. Um, there isn't really anyone else that makes Bethesda games. There isn't really anyone else that makes Zelda games at that high of a level of quality. There isn't anyone else that really makes Mario games at that high of a quality. Those 3D platformers, there are other ones, but not. they don't really get to that level. You can't scratch that uh, same itch with hello. the alternatives. So to go into, to go into um, this game right now, and my experience so far, which may change, uh, getting hit over the head relentlessly with, oh, you thought this was going to be more, more of what you liked from the other games? Nope. 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 Nope, you know, it's just, it's very, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing. There's probably a good game here to discover, but right now I'm trying to find out what is it that's holding this together? What's the intended kind of gameplay loop I'm supposed to be getting into? What are they going for here? Because what made Fallout and Skyrim and Fallout 76 and Oblivion special, and what I liked from those games, isn't here. So, 
what is here instead is what I'm looking for. But maybe it is here, I just haven't found it yet, you know? Uh, pretty hard sell you're pushing, yeah. Am I? Forgive me. I tend to forget how annoying that can be. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. Oh. This is a prime spot <laughs> right next to the <laughs> spaceport terminal. Okay. The bills and the rent here are astronomical. So I can fleece you is what you're saying. You shouldn't have to fi find the fun 10 hours in. Well, A, it's it's streamer 10 hours, which are full of conversations like right this right now, saying thank you to people which I still haven't done. Like, and I am... M slower than most i'm like pretty methodical I, I like to i like to test things i like to ram my head against things so it's not really 10 hours in and secondly game's fucking huge game's huge so 10 hours is like what not even like not even probably two percent of the time you can spend with this game so i think that has to be a factor there so you know i i don't think that's a fair statement for most games sure you'd be right and for most players that are playing them yeah i would agree um, but this one seems like I don't think it, it, something it fits you here. wanted to say or all choice business locations aren't cheap I'm not paying attention to this are you usually this open with your customers yeah, that's good oh yes absolutely it can be off-putting I know I picked up the habit from my mother she was an extraordinary woman made friends instantly wherever she traveled wise as well if she was still alive, she would have told me to move my shop and cease paying these exorbitant fees. You'd think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. What is this? Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Okay. I'm sure we can make a deal. All right. Oh, you saw you saw an weapon, spacesuit. Okay. Resources, aid. Do you sell med packs? You do. They're so expensive. Holy crap. We should have a talk when you have the time, of course. Okay. What about? Remember our last conversation when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being hold across the entire galaxy well it got me thinking so i dove into our archives and started looking through constellations older journal entries just because i wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor you never mentioned your predecessor to me before i'd like to discuss th this with you later were any of the old journal entries helpful uh, unfortunately no other than you and barrett there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Okay, so this is a conversation about your predecessor, not... okay. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Aja? Keep talking like that, and I might get jealous. What? I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Oh, I... Aja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Really? I have to pick one of these three cringe-a-thons? Alright, this is gold medal cringe. This is silver medal cringe. This is bronze medal cringe. Let's go bronze medal. Oh, she absolutely was. Okay. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Maybe she was just trying to keep an eye on the rookie. The rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. Ha 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 ha! Let's go that one. Hey. So I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together. But it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. I can relate to that. 
I find the journey boring, but I live for the destinations. What's boring about all these load screens? What are you talking about? Did you two discover anything I might have heard about? We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. Oh, let's have there one then. Was Nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. So I've noticed. I take it I'm the protege on this journey. That's good to know since I'm gunning for your position. What? Cozy isolation. All right. If we say this, considering how long we've known this woman, right? This should be like, wait, where the fuck? Where is that coming from? But I'm betting if we pick this, she's going to be like, ha ha ha, like the competition. Let's do some ribbing. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Huh, I'll be certain to watch my back. Ah! You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Where is she? Oh, is she, <laughs> is she a death? Sounds like you two were in love. At least she left a vacancy for you to fill his chair. All three of these are gold medal cringe. Oh my god. I like the first one is so funny to me. Right, let's do this one. No, she retired. Oh. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Oh. Come to think of it. Well, what the if fuck? We out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. I'll do the best I can I, I can to make our journeys just as pleasant. I don't know. She sounds like a tough act to follow. Ha 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 ha. Well, hopefully I'm a suitable substitute. Are you sure visiting Aja would be a good such a good idea? Uh, all right, one of these two. One of these two. So, tough act to follow. Here we go. Well, you don't need to follow anyone. Just be yourself. I chose to accompany you on this journey because I saw something familiar in your eyes. A hunger for exploration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is she a uh, dead? Sounds like one of those options in Fallout New Vegas when your speech is too low. That's so fucking true. <laughs> like speech check fail that sounds like something you like fucking like fail a role in disco elysium <laughs> i want to have fuck with you like what oh flirt all right well you certainly have me all figured out if you're wrong i hope you won't be disappointed flirt i'd like to discover more about what we have for here here is this this is flirting let's do it i i don't know if i deserve to be that close to anyone right now wait what if you knew about the things that i've done oh god the way my life's unfolded it's about your rock band i think your opinion of me might change please give me some time oh I, it, I, I i have to go it... can i help bye bye Honestly, <laughs> you must be freezing. No, it's so quite warm here. All right, I. I like this place. I want to explore it more, but I want I want to do my planet exploration. So I want to. Is, is the elevator Gembud? What's going on? Oh, that's good. Say the line, Sarah.
which is more cringe, Starfield or Life is Strange? It's honestly, it's kind of close. I'm gonna say Life is Strange. It's gotta be. Hey, Varko, we're gonna take you to get graffiti because you look you basic as hell. My assistance. All right, let us say thank you to people because I am way behind and I keep getting sidetracked by the game and we could just play it forever. All right, let me scroll down. The last person I th said thank you to yesterday was, uh, said thank you to Sarith Emotional Hygiene. Yeah, I think it is. Zvi23. Did I say thank you to Zvi23 yesterday? I think maybe I did, but just in case I didn't, thank you Zvi23 for the resub. Thank you Annie for Prez uh, for starting us off today with the resub. Thank you Zorgrox for the bits. Thank you Mr. Silverstrike as well for the resub. Sam Fromam? Sam from Am. Sam from Am, probably, also. Thank you Zero Vault, Zero Vault for the bits. Thank you Falco5 for the resub. Thank you also to Pepperdew. Big Little Sloth. I almost said that completely differently. Thank you very much. Thank you also to Senrahin, Kohakiyama, Neurality, Ipsin13, Starsworn Cygnus or Cygnus, Penultimate12. I really love the word penultimate. Thank you, B Dog, B Dog Lol69 for the bits. My friends have been calling Starfield the best game they've ever made. I'm happy for them, but confused. Been reading a, a prayer for Owen Meany as well. I, I read that one. Lily loves that one, and she says I should read it. That's one of the John Irving classics I haven't I haven't read. I would really like to... Uh, I'd really like to read it. I don't have much time for reading anymore, unfortunately. Um, Starfield, the best game ever made it, is is a, is a mood. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll find that find that out as we play. Thank you to Mr. Kiwi for the resub. Thank you also to I Sell Mangoes by the Seashore. Thank you, Loner Archon, for giving up 10 subs. That was two hours ago, and I missed it. Sorry, Loner Archon. Hopefully you're still here. Thank you so much. 10 subs is a lot. Thank you, Lime of Green, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, This Is, is Fish Toe, for the resub. Buy a Marble for the Race from Twuki. It's on my list. Wow, it's there. Thank you, Dalmek, for gifting a sub to Merrick Bentuzzi. How are you, loot today, Merrick? Dalmek has a type. Ooh. There have been some Lou Chans in the past. I'm still here. Oh, thank you very much, Lenarko. I'm glad you're still here. Thank you, Dalmek, for gifting a sub to Moncton Chan as well. Moncton Chan would be pretty dirty. Yep, that, that tracks. Thank you, Megpoid Nebri for the resub. Toxel also for the resub. Thank you, Sleep Tight Egger. Turbo encabulator i think tequila sunset for subscribing for the first time welcome welcome tequila sunset thank you charitable coffee maker <laughs> for the resub uh elephant doom haloli ravioli texted pedro growl <sighs> all right i'm not saying that i'm not saying that i'm not saying it i'm not saying it I'll say it modified, but I'm not saying that. Thank you, Top Lolly, for gifting a sub to Joe Loves Seahawk. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Top Lolly. Thank you, Meterman90 for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you, Salt Shaker8 for the resub. And thank you, Smokerin, for gifting out a sub. Wow, coward. Minus two inches. Yeah, it's, see, it's not true. I don't care about the lost inches. All right. Oh, hi, Sam. Miss Morgan. Sarah, please. Good work dealing with those merchants in Freestar Space. I want to go to the Freestar Place, and we have a we have a mission for that, don't we? So let's go to main mission. Um the old neighborhood. One small step. Okay, into the unknown. Okay, empty nest. Aquila City. All right, we want to go to Aquila City. Set course. All right, where is it? All right, we're going to Cheyenne. All right, let's go. Welcome to the Freestar Collective. Please maintain your current course oh, while we scan your ship. I your report. They said thanks. Good job. Good job. That's it. And that's it. Yes. Enjoy that oh. Aquila City. Yeah. Okay. 
You're welcome. Although, you might want to run your reports through a spell check first. But that's all. Okay. Let's see what the uh, system looks like. Oh, there's a lot of planets in this system. Rel, Skink, Agamon, Navaha, Stellis, Washaki, Fen, and Montera. And some moons, too. Oh, man. It's a blue star. All right, so I want to... I want to land. No. I want to land. Industrial outpost. Aquila City. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to scan the planet. We're going to scan the planet. All right, so there's a lot of water on this planet. Very Earth-like before what happened to Earth happened to Earth. All right, so we can go to forest, savanna. All right, I want to go to Aquila City, and I want to see what it looks like. So here we go. We're going to go to Aquila City. So let's hard save. Had some crashes and freezes in here. Oh, sounds like a good time. How? Okay. Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Word to the wise. It's better here. NPCs in this game have really in intense eyes, don't they? Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. All right. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. If people are in danger, then I want to help. Yep, that's me. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Yeah. Sam has told me so many stories about Aquila City. <laughs> I feel as though I've lived here all my life. Why? This sounds like this feels like a theme park. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. Oh, it looks pretty good over there. Okay, just kind of, there's a lot of, like, billboards and stuff at the beginning because the stores make it feels like a theme park. This is pretty good. It doesn't feel like a city, though, either. Hmm. I wonder if you read the lore. I wonder if they explain it. This was possibly a good opportunity to have, like, hey, most people died after Earth went to shit, and the population of humanity is actually pretty low, even though they have, like, good space travel or whatever. So there's only, like, pockets of settlements around, and there's some reason why they can't, like, expand out really far or something. Like, I don't know. Maybe it does do that sort of thing. Alright, this is interesting. Alright, so, um, we've... I want to look around the city real quick so people can see it, and also I want to see it. Very rustic? Is that the, the right word, I think? So you want to come here? Feels like a futuristic Skyrim city. Um, and Fallout really, Fallout 4 was really missing that sort of thing. It just had really Diamond City and that was it from my memory. Yeah, with the wall too. Interesting. All right, cool. Yeah, I like it. Fairly large too. Still just feels like a small, a small town, but not really a city, but that's fine. What 
What's that over there? Oh, it's the same Let's farm silo thing. Some extra ammunition before we explore the wilderness around the city. We're not even we're not even doing that yet. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, so we're gonna be seeing the farm silo a lot. Okay, so at the risk of being boring, chat, I now want to just fly to a procedurally generated chunk of this planet, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to explore it. And then after that, we're going to come back here and we're going to explore this chunk around the city. And we're going to see if there's anything more interesting here to get. This looks like it's pretty small, actually. Do we want to do the city first and then come back? Or do we want to... Sorry, city and then go... I think we want to go to the procedurally generated one first and then come here and compare it. Because this should be more interesting than, than what's around it, I think. So let's go and then we'll come back. So let's flash out of the ship. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to say this wrong. Indiano Pescador de Bagri. Oh god, I'm sorry. Hopefully I'm close. Thank you for the new sub. The Bagri? I I am I just said that completely wrong, I'm sorry. But thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's pick a good part of the map. We're going to go for the navigation console for no reason. We're going to go up. All right, so do we want to be in the same biome as the city? So the city is in uh, Savannah. Is in the Savannah biome. We can go to a forest biome, a Savannah biome. If we land next to it, will we be able to see it? We tested that already, didn't we? We couldn't do it. Maybe we didn't look hard enough. Uh, Savannah... Forest, frozen plains, and that's about it, it looks like. Is there, are there any mountains? Fracking station. Why is there, why are there fracking stations on every planet or on the city planets? Same biome for Valentes. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So let's go to the savannah right here. And then we'll do, and then we'll travel around it for a while, and then we'll go back to Akil City and explore around it. Thank you, yeah, dude, haha, -ha, for the resub. Landed yeah, dude. Primed. Retro's firing. And thank you, Lucas O, for the resub as well. Probably gonna be longer streams for Starfield, by the way, because this is a bigger game, and I also really want to play it and check it out. And also, there's no copyright. Um, Bethesda is historically absolutely fantastic when it comes to handling copyright shit on on YouTube. I have never had an issue with a Bethesda game ever, so I don't have to worry about the four-hour limit for for Bethesda. I'm really really grateful to them for that. Actually, I mean, it's just like every everyone should be like that, but like you know, I still appreciate it. All right, so. What do we want to do? Do we want to go go east and see what we can find east and then fast travel back to the ship and then go southwest or whatever and just like fan out and do that? That seems like good. Like like this way, this way, this way, this way and see. So let's go here and we'll keep going. Um, first of all, I need to level up. What, do I, what am I leveling up? Because I have a skill point. Do I want to get... Kill 100 enemies and then we can unlock rank... Oh, I didn't unlock rank 3. I thought I could... I thought I got rank 3. Really? What? I thought I got rank three. Do I, oh, I have it, but I haven't done the challenge. Okay, that's what the yellow is. So the yellow is the challenge, the lock is that you don't have it yet. Is that right? So I have to do, I have to kill a hundred enemies. We should do that here. And then we can get a hundred percent more damage and have a chance to knock down opponents. That seems really good. Uh, weightlifting seems pretty good too. 100 kilograms that's so good and then we will unlock uh oh we can we can unlock a um another one now unlock the ability to combat slide take 15 percent less da less fall damage combat slide oh hold on environmental conditioning well we're already really good at that Pain tolerance, physical damage. That's good too. This seems like a really good tree. Anyway, let's let's save it for boxing. Uh, hard save before we start. And onward, let us starfield. 
Shit. gonna grab one of each of these because I've never had them before. I don't think we found nickel or aluminum. Ashta, level 10 you say? Let's do this. It's not going well chat. You stow it in your bag. Maybe we picked the wrong planet. Maybe we're not ready for this. Maybe I'm gonna have to put on armor. No, don't even joke about that. Don't even joke about that. We're the naked astronaut. Whoa, let's go fight that. No man's sky? I'll help you, Ashta. Whoa, ooh. Moscanth, no! Let's go to the point of interest. Maybe I gotta learn how to juke more. Oh, I didn't see that. God damn it. Abandoned. Where'd you come from? All right, we're not taking anything that's that's uh, not not uncommon or above. the Bethesda purists are mad that you can't um, loot every single spacesuit for every single person. They sell for a lot, actually. Blindly. Should have looted that bind blindly. All right. Um, maybe this plan is not good enough for this test chat because my character isn't strong enough. I need some more levels. I thought maybe it'd be okay, but I guess not. I guess I could just run from place to place. I don't have to fight, right? Put some all clothes on, but then I'm not the naked astronaut. I like being the naked astronaut. 
will it make a big difference? Let's find out. Maybe we're gonna have to do it for the sake of the test. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so I'm so upset. It's not the same. Don't leave any of that behind. makes a big difference, who knew? Antimony? What's antimony? Does it take money away from me when I pick it up? Okay, I need uh, I need to heal. Do I have anything to heal with? It's not going well. So I'm playing Hunt Showdown, where is he? Where's the Bushwookie? Oh sh- Let's save it, we have a lot of health. We're fine, we're fine right now, this is fine. Lung damage gained. Yeah. No! Okay, how, how many levels do we need to get, um... How many levels do we need to get to get some regenerating health going on? A lot. We need seven more levels to get it. Eat, I have no food. It's all back on the ship. I guess we could carry around a bunch of food. Oh, milk and cheese! The urn? All right, now we're good. Have you found a way to enjoy the game? I'm trying. I'm trying. Right now, I'm, I'm like, un upset with my build, but it might be just the planet that we're on. Maybe we need to go find some, like, level one planet and just run around and just punch a bunch of stuff to get level four fists. I want more levels is what we need. There's a lot of combat here, and, um, our build takes a lot of damage. That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. Glitch in the matrix in chat. You are fucking a bitch, dude. That's a weird way to talk about your mom. Oh, you are a fucking bitch, dude. Oh, okay. Sorry. That message is held for review, so, like, you might not see it. Sorry. Shit! 
run. Alright, did we kill them all? Save it. Alright, we're good. We did it. Why is there an airlock here? Bring it on. Why would you need an airlock here? Taking aid. In fact, we're gonna eat it. Greetings. Oh sh! No, no. What? Oh man, Millennia's here. Holy crap! Prototype equipment. All right, that has a lot of value. Is this worth picking up? Ah, next time. I don't know. Let's say no for now until it gives us a reason. I'm sure we'll find lots of it later. It's really important to manage your inventory. It's, it's like the most important thing in this game. Computer. All right, here we go. Little story here. Uh, then why let... Then why let me... Why was it blue? What? Midnight Delight. What's Midnight Delight? Midnight Delight. Is my... Is my menu bugged? Uh-oh. This is fine. It is. If you move, it'll be fine. Oh, it's just in that location? That was weird. Alright, Midnight Delight. What's that? That looks like deli meat. Multi meat. More work in went into this than the map. Oh, look at that. Spice mushroom. Well, that's for me. I'm eating that. Mushroom yuck. I used to be one of you, but I, 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 I really like mushrooms now. Yes! Another plushie! Okay, do we want to level up our nutrition to get 10% more healing from our food chat? We just healed for three three health. We could have got 3.3. I'm just saying we are down. For the three things we just ate, we are down a whole HP. 10%. We are down so hard. So hard. What's the challenge going to be? Just eat a bunch of food? What's it gonna be? That's- oh god, that's terrible. Alright. Sorry, I- I have been conditioned to quick save so much playing these games. You 
got nothing. What the fuck was that? He just snapped out of his stagger. If you love it all, you get 5% poison resistance. Yep, that's true. Owned is for real. blue we take it if, if it's blue we take it if it's gray we leave it behind can we take this oh this is the invisible astronaut Can't you take their axes? Yeah, you can. I'm doing fists only on purpose. Ammo crate. Expert. Alright, mines are okay. Meal pack. Chicken. Weapon case. Blue we take. Ammos doesn't have any weight. That's gray. We leave it behind. Yes, a med pack. Nice. Sa Master! Are you expecting me to come back? Master. Oh, damn. Measter. Can I even level that up yet? Security. Oh, I can get rank 2. I can get expert. We should probably get that, right? We're going to level up before we before we beat up uh, 58 more enemies. So let's let's get it cuz we I like to unlock things. Let's get it. Alright, so there was one here that was expert, wasn't it? It wasn't this one. It was over here? This one. Ammo crate. No. Up. There's gotta be one around here somewhere, right? Inclement weather outfit. <gasps> yes! Did you pick? Well, this looks like a nice spot for a lovely cup of tea before we return to the carnage. Shall we? It's coffee. Alright, we got we got and digipick. Alright, we can't fuck it up. Here we go. We can't fuck it up. Here we go. Alright. Oh no, this one looks hard. Alright, that that sits there. Let's get cracking. We need a three. Alright, that one's set in stone. We need a three. That one? No. Uh, if you weren't here for the other stream, I'm really bad at this mini game. So, sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad. Uh, is there a way to use the um, these ones? No. We need a three that fits. That won't. That won't. That won't. That won't. That won't. That one might, but we tried that before and it didn't work, right? Uh, so it's not this. So is it two? Two and four? Yeah, two and four. Not those. This one. Alright, that, that works, right? Shit. Two. Sorry, four and two. This one here? That one. Alright, I like this mini game, by the way, though, even though I'm bad at it. I think it's pretty good. Alright, can we do a four here? No, it doesn't look like it. This one? No. Three? We tried this one already, didn't we? 
How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's it's two. It has to be two and four. So it's two and four, or th can it be three twos? That's one. It's not that. We tried this one already. Did we, did we try this one? It's not that. I think it's going to be three twos. Yeah, it's going to be three twos. So that one, is there anywhere else we can use this? No. So there. There. And these two up here. What can we do for those two up here? No, that doesn't work, does it? That works up there too. Joe, I'm sorry. I'm like I said, I'm really bad at this this mini game. That one works there, so we can put that one there. Does that change things? That one goes there. Then these go here. And can we do these two over here in a different way? No, doesn't look like it. If we use a three, oh, there's another. Th is there another three? Oh, it's three and three. I didn't even see the threes. It's three and three. All right, there we go. And now we do... It's not that one. Not that one. That one fits, and then two. All right, there you go. Yeah, I like this mini game. I think it's good. Oh, for 54 rounds. Yay. Learn to pick. You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. Scan. It was fun though. I like the mini game quite a bit. Uh, I think that's that might be, might be my favorite, my favorite lock picking mini game from these kind of games. However, that said, I do enjoy how fast you can get at um at the lock picking mini game in um, Skyrim and Fallout, where you can just be like, you just open it and you just kind of feel out the lock real quick, and you can just get a feel for it. It, it feels like you're actually getting better at something. Um, I'm sure you can get better at this too, but it's always going to be a puzzle instead of just like mechanically feeling something out. Neo Gang Culture. That's a book that we want, I think. We don't have that book. Weight plate. Don't care. Chunks. Can we drink? Oh, <gasps> why? <clears throat> Did you know that in uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, uh, when you get to a water source, you can uh, press E and then hold it to continue drinking endlessly until your health fills up all the way to full. You do not have to press E uh, individually every single time to get a little bit of health. Seems like most people knew that know that now. Interesting. What happened to Naked Astronaut? The game hit us hard, man. The game hit us hard.
What is everyone sound like they're smoking a thousand cigarettes? I thought it was a robot speaking earlier when this guy talked. Well, this guy, this guy's voice talked. Okay, he's level 12. All right, so this is a little, a little dungeon. This area is a bit more interesting, but it just feels like a bandit camp that you would find in, uh, or a raider camp, right? Not the worst thing, but still not all that great. Okay, save it again. Yes, did you pick? Nice. You surrender, or you want me to surrender? Alright, we did it. World first. What is CQBX? Is that a drug? What is it? It is. Get stronger. Alright. Modified. Like, look, that's worth 2,166, and we're not picking it up. What? That's so much. Oh, but no, I, I need to I need to follow my rules or else we're going to we're going to get we're going to spend all of our time doing inventory. We have to do it. <gasps> Skill book. Permanently increased sneak bonus by 1% and melee sneak attack damage by 5%. Oh, that's for our build. Oh, nice! All right, cool. We got a skill magazine. That was really easy to miss, wasn't it? One percent. I hope they don't have a. 1% um, resistance to damage when we get there. Oh no. Oh, this is a 1. I right, definitely don't use the 1. Okay, that is not it. Alright, what do we think, chat? I think one of the key things this this mini game is figuring out the amount of numbers of, of prongs you're going to use for each one, right? So, this is a three. Is there a four that just clears that? One, two, three, four. No, it's a five. Uh, so, there's a three over here. I don't think there's a three that we have. All right. That seems like we're never going to get a better one than that for this for this arrangement, right? It's ne Yeah, it's got to be this. All right. So, now we use a three for this. So, that's done. All right. Good. All right. We did it. All right. So... That one's set up for the next one. All right. Uh, that one's set up for that one. Is there a three? Or is there a four? Oh, that's a four. Four and one? Four and one would do it, right? Four and one would do it. And then we have the th this three set up for next time. So do we have a two that fits that one? Yeah, we do. All right, so we're done. So four, one, and then three, and then two. All right. David Copperfield. Ooh, geode sculpture. I also love stupid shit like this. Okay, a lot of credits. Uh, a blue space suit that's worth 7,700. That's pretty good. Some resources. A ton of credits and some nickel. Alright. So this is very... Oh, a weapon rack. Oh. Laser rifle. That's neat. Can we get weapon racks for a ship? Probably, right? Helmet display. Oh, no digipics. God damn it, that looks blue.
All right, should we go back to our uh, our our starship and dump some shit up, but also get our digipex that I forgot to get? Bull. Can you break the glass? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> oh, it's broken again. Why does it keep why does it keep breaking? It's curds! It's cheese curds, fries, gravy, and love. I love all of those things. Putin in a can. I'm eating it. Five health. Hell yeah. Canada lives on in Starfield. And ramen for the weebs. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that... Hold on, is that uh, apparel? Because we're collecting apparel. Yeah, it is. All right, so we're, we're collecting apparel. That looks looks pretty pretty stylish. I'd wear that. All right, and that's that. Did you do this? They self stack. Is this some future tech? Wait, is this a poutine vending machine? Bacon. Pancakes. Is it a gotcha to get a poutine? God damn it. Golden flash, like, blinds your eyes as the poutine comes down. Okay, you can't, you can't break it. Can I lift it up? No. Can I, like, get something? And, like, move it? Can I put something else in there? Shit, I don't want to do that. Okay, so what's left to do? Um, getting, uh, hacking that. That's just, no, no. <laughs> that yeah holy shit we probably still want to come back and open it though for the xp don't we it's like 15 xp anyway let's um let's fast travel back to the ship and then we'll fast travel back here it's good to be back on board oh is the yeah, so the, the it persists here. So the the board game is still here on a different planet, which makes sense. But yeah, what's that?
15 XP that's punching two whole bucks. Yeah, it might not be worth the digi pick, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, so we want to transfer all of our resources. So take all. Uh, no, sort all. Um, inventory. Alright, so we want to transfer all of our resources. Store all resources. Store all miscellaneous. Uh, store all food. Actually, do we want to do we want to carry around some food in case we need it for emergency healing? I think that we probably do want to do that. All right, store all the helmets apart from the one that we might use. Ooh, plus twenty percent oxygen capacity and liquid cooled plus twenty five thermal resistance. We got an epic helmet. Nice. Golden common. All right, and we want to take our digi picks. We want to take, if we took all of the aid, how much would that be? Take all. No, if I take all, it's gonna take everything out of the out of here instead of just uh, just this. Maybe we want to take all of our food and we want to eat it. If we're gonna do that, then maybe we want to actually like legit level up our, our our eating because that will add up in the long run. Trauma pack. All right, that might be good to to, to take. Battle meal multi-pack, 20 health, 8 carry capacity for 8 minutes. Alright, that's also worth it. Let's take all those. Take some toast. I enjoy toast. I'm a toast enjoyer. Gummy bugs. Okay, I think that's it. Do a hard save. And let us teleport back there now. Oh, you know what? Sorry. Free healing. Oh, someone wanted... What What was it that you wanted me to do, chat? Hold the button down. Hold E. And then move it like this. No, I have to let go of E to do it. If I hold, if I hold E, it's ticking down. No, it won't let me move. You are the soundest sleeper I've ever seen. Hey Joe, I know you're bad at names, so it's pronounced Momo Thanks. Oh, it's a resub. Momo Thanks. Thank you very much, Momo Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Two thank yous. Thank you also to Chris Dell for the resub. And Guilty Sauce for the resub. The best poutines have the have the guilty sauce. Joe, did you know that you could sleep in beds while in combat? I did not know that. That sounds exploitable. Do we care enough to go back and get that uh, that helmet that's in there? What if the helmet's like an epic helmet that sells for a shit ton of money? Like, it seems like treasure. Do we care enough? Do we want to go back or no? Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Some people said yes, no, yes, nah, yes, we do. It seems pretty split. It won't take very long. Yeah, it's XP too. Okay, so this may be in a little poor taste. I don't I don't mean it. I'm just saying I mean it badly. I just I'm saying it because the way I'm slightly dyslexic maybe or anything. Every single time we fight these guys, my brain is going, wow, we're we're fighting epileptics. I don't see a clip deck right away. I'm like, oh I'm fighting a bunch of epileptic guys. Maybe because that's the more common word that it's a, that's like that you see made out of those uh, those letters.
Okay, we're back. All right, so what do we think about this place? So, um, not a bad little like bandit camp dungeon kind of thing. There was like some flow to it. There was a commodore right outside. Not bad. Like it's okay. I would feel like this would be like just like bog standard bread and butter for for the for the game. It's all right. I'm curious if there's going to be anything more interesting. Like there's a there's that bridge when you leave White Run and Skyrim and you go to the east and you're making your first journey toward uh toward the the mountain. Um, most people, most players come across like this bridge that's over the river and there's like a little bandit camp that's been set up there and it's pretty simple in terms of gameplay but it's fairly memorable because it looks cool like it's this huge tower that connects with the bridge over the over the water, it's, it's like unnecessarily tall so th that that is like a landmark that they use as a bandit camp and I like that, that moment even though it's pretty simple whereas here um this just feels like plopped down, right? And it's 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 it has more to it in terms of gameplay, but it's I don't think I'm ever gonna remember this place. Maybe I will because of the Putin, but I don't know. Anyway, let's uh let's grab it. I wonder if I can like just like look through the seams a little bit. Okay, so... No, uh, four. I should look at the options. I should be more more eager to look at options. No, not that. That's pretty good. All right, I don't think we're going to get better than that. Do we have a two that fits over here? Uh, no, we don't. All right, so that's not it. Interesting. That's pretty good. All right, do we have a two that fits, a three that fits here? No, not that one. Not that one. That one we already did. No. What's the one we already have? This one, a two that fits here. No, we, we tried this already, it doesn't work. A three that fits here. That won't do it. That might no. It fits there though. So is it two? Is there two that fits there? No. Is there one that fits this one? A three, this one? If we move it? No, this one? No, okay, I'm stuck, I'm sorry. I'm Again, I'm really bad at these. And I'm fine with that, but it might be a little te uh, tedious. We can't use a four because if we use a four, we need a one. So it's going to be two, two, th two and a three, right? Two and a three, two and a three for sure. So it's going to be two and a three. So that one, yes, we mean yes. This one. Oh, it does fit. Shit. Um, yeah, that one. Shit, my bad. All right, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's probably going to be uh, a four and a two. It's definitely not going to be that one. This one for sure. So that one and then this one. Yeah. All right, that one fits and then a three over here. This one? No, this one? Yeah, that one and that one, right? Yeah. All right, there you go. Was locked, there must be something they don't want us to find. Oh, it's epic! Blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Antiseptic, 25 airborne resistance. Sometimes I wonder if Joe apologizes for suboptimal decisions even if chat isn't here. I absolutely do, yep. I absolutely do. Sometimes, like, I will be playing a game and I will start thinking, like, imagine how chat would be if, uh... <laughs> if they could watch me. 
<laughs> it's, I don't think it's a good thing, man. Like, I'm laughing, but I don't think it's a good thing. Oh, uh, man. Um. <laughs> Open lock gun case too. Why is it? Is it? Is a good XP? How much XP was that? Twenty. All right, this and the one. It looks like it, right? I don't think that that one's not gonna do it. That one's not gonna do it. Not that one. Not that one. Not that. One. It has to be the two and the one. Yeah. Right, so two and the one. Two and the one right away. That seems spooky. All right, it's not that one. Is there a, th a good three? That one, and then this one. No, it's not. That one, and that one, yeah. And then... No? No, I thought for sure. Okay, uh, this one? No! God damn, what's going on? This one? That one. And then... This one. Yeah. Alright, there we go. And that was... Uh, 16 XP. Oh, and we're getting- we're, uh, leveling up the challenge too. Alright, this is worth, actually. This is definitely worth. Because we want to come back here and open that master lock because it's definitely going to have something really good in it, right? Do I think the circle changes color if there's a position that would fit? If it's white, it doesn't... It doesn't... If it's blue, if it does, or... Blue if it does, white if it doesn't? Okay, we'll try that next time and see. Worth. Alright, where to now? So now we're gonna go down here. I feel like we should just daisy chain through whatever's closest on our way generally toward the south southeast. So we're going down here to, to this one. What is this map? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Do you think that modders are going to be able to take like a satellite view of the map from above when it's generated? Kind of like recreating... Because um, it's weird to say because it's a fantasy game, but Skyrim's map is like a satellite view from orbit, right? Like um, if you if you like cause a big enough fire on in in the world and if you go to the map on Skyrim you can see it update in real time like if you if you do a um if you kill a dragon right like you can see it um so like i really like Skyrim's map a lot i i fucking hate um Fallout's map i hate Fallout's map really yeah i think you can i th i think if you if you if you kill a dragon and you're absorbing its soul i think you can see the fire like light up a little bit on the map it's like a real time updated map I like the Fallout 3 map. I really don't like the I really don't like the Fallout maps. It makes sense for the tech that they have, but I really don't like them. They're not very readable. They're a damn sight better than what we have right now, don't get me wrong, but yeah. Seems like an unnecessary feature. What being able to see what's happening from the map? I don't think it's a feature. I think that when I, when they use the map they just like take a snapshot of the whole entire player area from from above and that's the and that's the map that updates from a really far away distance you have to get a mod in fallout 4 to see the damn roads also local map view always sucked yeah it really does I didn't use very many mods in my Fallout 4 run because, uh, actually, did I use any at all? Because I was, I always played it for the videos, so I never wanted to, to do it. I think maybe I got, I, I had a mod that added more radio tracks to the radio. This needs a radio. Does this have a radio? Does this game have a radio chat? Like, you have a watch. I love the radio in those games. There's no radio? What the fuck? Galactic radio would have been would have been like a different one for every planet. That would have been great. Magma. Perc 
Magma percolates mineralized. Oh, this was it. Ground water to produce massive crystals in the in the cluster forming from a central source. This is Mr. New Vegas filling in for Mr. New Vegas. Oh no! While you were flying, the Asha were training. While you were researching, the Asha were training. been busy what the fuck You're the, it's the MMO mob over there what are we back in Final Fantasy 16 okay was was this really the whole thing so landmark and oh shit oh dung pile all right here's your here's your cookie for coming here That was someone's favorite Ashta, the wedding Ashta. Alien egg, structural material, sealant. Alright, alien egg's gotta be for something. I wonder if you can make a special research outpost here. Or a special, um. A special, um. Like. Excavator with this. I wonder if the one on Earth is the same way too. It's showing up on the scan. Like, look, if we scan the planet now. Crystalline crust, see, trait. There's a trait here. I think it will. I think, I think this unlocks something that we can do on the planet. Oh shit, it's benzene. I thought it was a uh, another dung pile. Can I like juke in and, and, and harvest it? What? Our plot cough is back. All right, this way. You can build some kind of zoo at the outpost. I guess alien eggs would help with it. You can make an alien zoo. Well, that sounds fun. Does it uh, increase your max morale of your of your people and evolve idle? All right, let's kill one of these things and then we'll take a break because we're over four hours. Moss Ganth. All right, I have it on the Ashes authority that these things are really easy to kill. Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. What's the yellow that's filling up our health in the back? Oh god. All right, I'm not doing it. Screw it. Oh, let's sleep it off. Hey there. Time to get moving. Uh rare manufactured component and a gray jumpsuit. We don't want that. Going there. <laughs> Let's 
scanning everything on the planet to unlock some shit is straight out of No Man's Sky, is it not? No Man's Sky did that, didn't it? I kind of deleted a lot of my memory of No Man's Sky, so I'm not sure, but I think it is. Okay, how do we get rid of the shit that we have? Status. Uh, lung damage and poor air quality. Suit protection depleted. All right, do I have... Uh, have I lost my protection? Should I put a helmet on? I feel like we lost our... No, you're fine. Never mind. So you don't have a... You don't have one. Wasn't there like a button you could press that um that if you have it you can just use it here? No. Oh, fuck. No, it doesn't look like it. We must have left them back on the ship. How's today's stream been? It's been okay. I'm having a decent time. Oh, there's water. Scan. Are the random locations different enough? So far, I don't think so, no. It's been pretty samey so far. And we haven't even really seen that many, so, you know, you shouldn't really listen to me right now. Let's play more of the game. But I wanted to answer. Pipeline substation, okay. So there's just a, a bunch of shit here. We'll take the, the ammo, that, this, fiber, yep, that seems like it's a, uh... Yeah, we want all of this. Research projects require fewer resources for 10 minutes. What?! So you're just gonna use these drugs before you start researching? What kind of message is that sending, Bethesda? Crunchity crunch crunch, look at the game dev go. Staple gun. Suck clip where someone could travel from one planet to another without menuing while in your ship co ship cockpit in scan mode, maybe, by looking at one holding R, if I remember correctly, worth a shot. I think you can do that, but um, it still puts you through kind of like a, a loading animation uh, and takes control away of, of the ship. And that's fine, at least you don't have to do a menu, but it's, it's still not exactly what I was hoping for for the exploration. It's better, though, than doing the menu. I feel like fists are getting oh. less viable the more we play. My appetite. Maybe if we uh, get more of the, the martial arts skill tree and the EM fist skill tree, maybe that'll be better. What the fuck is here? I hear something. Whoa, what the fuck are you guys? Baleen Rodif... Rodifer? All right, uh, we might have to pull out a gun for these ones. Sky have aliens like that too? I'm seeing No Man's Sky everywhere now. Man who has only played No Man's Sky playing his second video game. 
What do you mean it became worse? Pack of cigarettes. Just what we need for our lung damage. Okay, Tau Grade Rheostat. Uncommon manufactured component. Alright, that seems like a resource. And zero wire. Alright. Are they? Or are they are they going in miscellaneous? Yeah, alright, it is a resource. Okay. Are all these factories the same? I'm guessing that these factories that we're finding are the same kind of outposts that we can build. So it's like we're finding someone else's uh, outpost and we can and mess with it. But it's weird that no one's here. I wonder if they're all abandoned. I'm curious what it is you're going to have to do for, um, for people who man it. If you're going to have to set up like a, a hab for them to live in. Might as well take what we can. To be fair, this is much better than No Man's Sky release. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Sorry if I was giving the uh, uh, the impression otherwise. Yeah, absolutely better. How do you feel the combat is compared to Fallout 4, Joe? I think it's a little better. Yeah. Ear grub paperweight. Poncho sounds like it's uh, clothes. Squall, a daint, powerful. Okay, it's a it's a drug. Engineering outfit sounds like clothes. We take clothes. Is that a cooler? Someone was here. This ice is still ice. Oranges, those are for me. Onion, potato. Any cream? Whoa! Whoa, no, don't leave me behind! What are you doing? Alright, so is that it? Nothing else is in here? There's got to be a treasure chest in here somewhere, right? Did we miss it? Mondays. At the beginning, no, I mean in here, not not in this uh, at this location. Anyway, um, it seems like our health is improving, so let's uh, let's heal, let's let's rest in the bed for one hour. Time to get back to the world, eh? As you probably know, the combat in such games is one of the weakest parts. Why are you insisting on to play such games with with melee then? Uh, I don't play Fallout 4 or Fallout 76 with melee usually, although I do have a melee option in case I run out of ammo. Usually, I switch between them. Um, Oh, it's it's much brighter in here now. Uh, I'm enjoying playing with with the fists. It's adding a layer of uh, of tactics for me, and I'm enjoying having the idea of, of being a build instead of just using whatever I want. So it's adding adding it for me right now, not taking it away. Uh, anyway, let me save it, and we are overdue for break. So I will be right back in five minutes. If you've been staying the whole time, get up, walk around, go get a drink, drink some water. Water is really important. Don't be staying the whole time. Before I go, thank you to WWE Abu for the resub. Thank you, Karim Fauzi, for the resub. And Collusional Delusional. Interesting name, fun to say. Also for the resub. I will be back in just a moment, chat. Alright, I'm back. I got some water. Time for more uh, Starfield ASMR. You left us with creepy or wet ambience you're welcome whoa okay let's uh, fast travel out
Whoa, what the Ensifer. Oh, I hope we find a use for that before it spoils. Level five, you say? Gonna make you hell. Why does level five have four health bars? healing oh this isn't set to a uh, hotkey oh I'm dead okay he's legendary Okay, do we want to try shooting for a bit and see if we uh, if we like it? Here we go. So fists are really weak. That was doing a lot of damage. That was doing a lot of damage. Uh, he rushes at you a lot more when you're firing than with the fists. The AI knows what to do. This feels exactly like, um, exactly like cheesing melee enemies in Skyrim and Fallout. It's exactly the same. Find something that they can climb over, circle around it, shoot them. Uh, what's, what's gunplay going to be like against other, against other enemies though? I will be switching back to fists only, but, um, someone in chat did make the good point that I'm not seeing what the gunplay's like. You can cheese Cassador. Well, they... Don't they have a... Do Cassadors have a ranged uh, ability? I'm talking about melee. What the heck is going on with enemy health bars? If an enemy has red bars underneath it, th those are extra health bars you have to go through. It's kind of like Mega Man... Um, health packs that you have to go through. They don't, but they're really fast. Yeah, they are really fast, yeah. <laughs> it's afraid. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Fists are really bad. I like the gameplay though, just running in and just juking, but yeah, fists are not really good. Seems like you have to build around it. Like this this weapon sucks, and it's like so much better than fists. Maybe try real melee weapons. Those might be better, but you know, there's a whole there's, there are trees around the uh, around melee. 
Alright, where are we going to now? Alright, now we're going east. Which is where we're already going, right? Yes. Who would have thought a futuristic laser is better than this? Well, first of all, it's a video game, and video games have different rules. Second of all, this is even a weapon, it's mining equipment. Third of all, I only have two points. Honestly, is this the best weapon in the game? Because there's infinite ammo. No, it sucks. It seems pretty good to me, dog. You really hate magic stuff, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. This is not fun. Why? 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 Oh, what the fuck's this? <laughs> I love how they they react the same way that uh, that the miners did when I was shooting them in the, in the starting area. <laughs> These guys are broken. Stop killing swamps, what the hell? Swamps will understand, I need the XP. He'd be cool with it. Scree scree. Oh dude, we're just infinite spawning XP here? I'm glad you're handling the messy work. Okay, we need to get a move on. We need, we need to see a lot of locations. Honestly, we, maybe it's not even worth clearing some of the locations unless it's something new. If it's another another um, abandoned mining outpost, we should just move on to the next one. Because right now it's just more. In I'm more interested in finding out what's what's available in in the mix. Try a different gun. I, I don't have a different gun. This is the only gun I have right now.
Why does he just let me kill them? This is so weird. Maybe it's because I fast traveled out of the airlock and they think I'm still inside. Thinking Bethesda's bugs to a whole new level. Alright, what's over here? New location on the horizon. What is it? It's another mineral pool. We've gone to four locations, and two of them have been repeats. That's a yikes from me. Alright, I don't even get double X like an XP thing again because I already scanned another one or, or what? Seems like it. Oh, this one's dry. Zeroing in on anything useful? Um, right, then down. Right, yeah. Don't go up here. East, then down. Right, so all the way to the east. Let's keep going. Huh, that's kind of a waste. Oh, no, I'm getting a really bad headache. Oh, shit. Oh, that hurts. Oh, hey. Hey, Sarah. Time to talk some more. Where are you? I'd like to speak to you. Right now? Yeah, what is it? Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Is it Aja? Did she die? I hope it isn't bad news. Not at all. Oh. It's just a list of requests, but when you read between the lines, it's obvious my absence is causing issues. Oh, maybe someone else should t take over, like me, who will then can do absolutely nothing of this. You feel like you're ignoring your responsibilities. It's not so much the message itself, but what it represents. Are you upset that I'm keeping you away from the lodge? Are you receiving these messages often? No, it's the first time. But the fact that they're reaching out, well, it's given me a lot to think about. Uh, what? Something like that. It's difficult to explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. <laughs> Government cuts take their toll on everyone. <laughs> All right. What exactly was the Navigator Corps? What does this have to do with the message? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Help, I feel like I need to give you some background. Just bear with me. All right. What exactly was the Navigator Corps? It Corps? was a branch of the United Colonies Navy, a small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. Okay. Eight years isn't a bad run for anything government related. <laughs> government cuts take their toll on your own. It's amazing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify <coughs> the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. It's ridiculous to accept all the all the blame. You are clearly fighting some impossible odds. Which war are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, is this your bad past? Seriously? The colony war, of course. <laughs> you know, 
That little incident that caused the death of thousands of decent men and women as they squabbled over border disputes. That war. Oh, that war. Okay. What war? Seriously? The colony war, of course. You know, that war. That war. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. <laughs> so I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Your if choices matter. Harder. I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. So is this her is this her <laughs> horrific bad backstory about how she doesn't deserve happiness because at one point she didn't work as hard as she could have and a division was cut by the government? There's there's no way that's why she thinks she doesn't deserve love, right? No? No, okay, that's good. Your division never had a single significant discovery. <laughs> That depends on your definition of significant. Discover a rare neutron star, and no one cares. But slap a picture of a kooky alien life form on SSNN, and suddenly you're a goddamn rock star. It's all about the propaganda. What gets the people excited? That's what the United Colonies was focused on at the time. It's obvious the military wasn't your calling. That's just it, though. It was. This was as far from the military as you could get. Ships built for exploration, not war. Oh, and I still screwed it all up. Calm down, Sarah. <laughs> At least Constellation has been a great success. So, this message, you're taking it as a sign of things to come. Calm down, Sarah. No, damn it. For once, I'm going to say what's oh, on my mind like that. instead of pretending that everything's okay. Whoa! Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore. <sighs> sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. <laughs> You're afraid that your absence will cause Constellation to collapse. Maybe you should resign your position as chair and just explore. We should put this aside for now and concentrate on our mission. Let's do the top one. Yes, exactly. Oh, what the... If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Whoa! Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. What's wrong with me? Damn it. Don't worry, Sarah. We'll figure this out together. I'm sorry I pushed so hard. Hey, you're the one who wanted to talk. Oh my god. <laughs> you're right. I'm... Oh, I'm so sorry. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. I give a damn. I guess I'm nobody. <laughs> Ouch! And right to my face, too! <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> You'd think I'd realize by now that I can always depend on you to lighten the mood. Oh, no, I meant it! Wow. That was a hell of a ride, wasn't it? What? Oh, I'm sorry to put you through all that. But... Thank you for being there and listening. That cured your lung damage? Uh, I guess what happens when you spit fire. Alright. This was a good talk. My headache is getting worse. Last time I had a headache like this, I had to, I had to throw up. Oh, man. Right, right behind my right eyeball. Oh... It's the parasite, maybe. It's it's the chicken wing. The chicken wing contact. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. 
Do you know what the next game after Starfield will be or Undecided? Depends on how long we play Starfield for, but if we play it for long enough, it will be Lies of P. I really want to play Blasphemous, too. Uh, we also have this Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door on the docket for the next voted game. It's a ship! Okay. Ship landing site. Free star Narcissus. Narcissus. Alright. When the ship is sus. Alright, that's for me. Still, I don't think I can fly the ship. More and more remote. Well, this is awkward. Hello, hi, how are you? Doc says I gotta watch my blood pressure. Like I can do that on a job like this. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm I'm just gonna sleep, okay? Yep. Hey. Rise and shine. We've got things to do. Thanks. Alright. Okay. Hi. Hi. Wish we could just do this on neon. You can't pickpocket? Huh. Okay, this is stealing. It's a oh, it's a skill, okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> well, I'm committing murder. Another one to add to my collection. You guys need to clean up. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Smuggler. Didn't expect you until later. What? Oh. Yeah. Uh. No, you're late. They must have changed the times up. The bosses can be <laughs> paranoid like that. Well, I've got the package on me. All you need to do is deliver it. Isn't that your job? Understood. I'll take the package. Where's the package supposed to be delivered? What, they didn't tell you? Because they sure as hell didn't tell me. Uh-oh. All I know is, if you don't deliver it, they'll send someone after you for sure. Okay, I'll do it. Understood. I'll take the package. Here. All right. I trust you know what to do with it. Oh, it's a, it's a helmet. All right. Oh, and money! Hey, babe, we cool? You again? Great. All right. Out with it. What the hell is the matter with you? I don't know what you mean. You're the one who's obviously angry, so you tell me. Maybe you should calm down so we can have a reasonable discussion. You think I'm being unreasonable? Yeah. You have a lot of nerve saying that to me after what you've done. What have I done? What I do? Whatever I did, I'm sorry. How vague? Back up a second and tell me exactly what I've done. Yeah, tell me. Tell me what what, I, what I've done. You want to play this foolish game? Fine. Members of Constellation are held to the highest regard, yet you persist on making poor decisions that reflect badly upon us. How specific? If you intend to continue this behavior, then maybe we shouldn't be traveling together. So specific. Persuade. I really like to work this out with you. 
honestly, the time apart might do us some good. Poor decisions? What poor decisions? Yeah, specifically what? I'm not going to stand here and describe <laughs> everything you've done. But let's just say you need to wise up and make smarter decisions. If you don't, then I need to seriously consider the need for us to be traveling together. Together. I'd really like to work this out. I'm not sure there's anything you can say at this point. I think the artifact messed with my mind. The pressure of this mission is making me crazy. Trust me, I'm actually a good person inside. I, I, I'm blaming the artifact. As strange as that sounds, I suppose that's possible. Yeah! Look, I realize things out here can be rough, so I'm going to let this go. For now. Just try to be more careful in the future. Otherwise, you'll find yourself traveling alone. Just murdered three people, by the way. Four, four people? Hold on, let's count them. Hey, you want to help me loot? Hey. Alright. Deep. Alright, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, one. Two. Ooh, med pack. What's a coachman? Oh, it's a shotgun. That's for me. Three. Four. Five. God damn, the artifacts. Wait, I can't steal the ship? Oh, I killed them for nothing. Oh, credits. All right, credits. Adaptive frame, zero wire. All right, this is all going to be contraband, so I don't think we should take it. Huh. All right, I kind of want to reload now. If there was, if I can't steal the ship, I wanted. To, the only reason I did this was to steal the ship. However, that cringy conversation with Sarah was amazing. There's a door on the lower deck I didn't open. Oh, is there? Hey. Not this one. This one? That's a shower. Contraband is marked yellow. Oh, is this just um a stolen tag? It's not uh it's not contraband? Okay. What the fuck? Look at the hand towel. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. One second. What? How good it... How good it looks? How normal it looks? Got him. Uh, okay. Owned? Yeah, so owned. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's just go. Let's let it ride. Okay, now we're going south. What's that in the sky? Is that a moon? Hey man, this is the best gun. Infinite ammo, the charge shot does amazing damage. Hold right trigger down, and then just like, whoa. It's so good. What happened to punching? Chat happened to punching. Also, it's taking too long. I will go back to it after we level up a bunch though.
man, I'm starting to feel sick. Oh no. I hate throwing up. I hope I'm not going to throw up. is just pounding right behind my right eye. Sounds like a migraine. Yeah, I think it is. Don't do the coffee, kids. It's not because of the coffee. These happen so infrequently. Distracted by free XP. Cave. All right, here we go. This is our third cave fourth cave we might have to put a helmet on here to get light we have found the cave let's say it before we go in the cave what's in the cave all right helmets on because we need to be able to see Protection regen? What? an Ashta in here. Is this it? All right, dung pile. Here we go. What's in it? What's our mass at? Oh, we're almost full. Shit. Um. Oh my god, vanadium! Oh, it was all worth it. Uh... Maybe some of these rare resources are really good to have and that you need like I can unlock like a, a mining outpost now because because uh, of that. I don't know. Benzene. Oh, there's more vanadium over there. Like it's it's orange or yellow, so maybe it's good. Oh, it's chest. All right, here we go. What's here? Ooh. Adhesive and sealant.
Okay, well, this was disappointing. So far, this, this planet has been a bust. I'm a bit disappointed. Oh no! Why is the Terran Warp your friend? Monster! How did how did this fight even start? The uh, pustules on its back take way more damage than anything else on it. Can he hit me through the rock? that the artifact is is resonating with the terramorph you're sucking in its soul where was sarah for this Uh, am I over encumbered? All right. Well, I need I need Sarah to take some shit. All right. Can I fast shuttle back to the ship this time? No. Okay. Uh, like seriously, where is she? Uh... 
Oh, right, don't we have something that increases our carry weight so we can get home? Plus eight carry capacity for eight minutes. All right, let's eat it. Now we need to uh, get rid of one mass. So let's just eat another one. Oh my god, my head. Holy shit. I'm sorry to complain. Just like, just out of nowhere. Like, god damn. All right, is there any miscellaneous we can drop? We're not dropping that. drink are we good now all right we're good all right we can go back to the ship I picked up something you might be interested in okay was it where the fuck you were during that fight uh oh she, they're gonna take us out. Yes. I'm listening. Thank you to Adper for the resub. Thank you very much, Adper. Thank you, Xander the Young American, also for the resub. Thank you, Oddmore, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Odd. Thank you, God... Good, good Buns. Good Buns. Goody Buns for the new sub as well. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Noctis801, also for the new sub. Three new subs in a row. Thank you very much. So what you doing? Yeah, take a look at this. You in deep thought or something? Fine by me. Oh, okay then. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Yeah, he's just doing our job on a mining base. Just... Uh, okay. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Oh, we can go back. Oh, that's good. I'm more than ready. Let's go. Why did she stop? Stepladder? Why, why did she stop being our active companion? You're still stuck in the floor, huh? Hello. Travel safely. Uh, <laughs> and your dad is just waiting for us at, at, at the port in space and left you here on the ship. Don't worry. Any bad guys try to take the ship, I'll blast them. Or, you know, just take off and fly away. Bye! All right. Okay, spacesuit we want to keep, helmet we want to keep. No, we put, we put the. Uh... I just took it away, didn't I? Yeah, I just took it away. Uh, we want to put these in. Resources, we want to store all resources. Miscellaneous, we want to put the alien egg and my friend will be in. Um, aid, we want to keep, right? We want to keep our aid, that's good. Uh, ammo doesn't weigh anything. What's weighing us down then right now? Oh, we have another spacesuit that we're not that we're not uh, wearing. Okay, that's uh, pretty significant. Um, 
do we want to take a gun and try it out? What gun should we try? Because people say the gun is way better than the miner. Med theft modified maelstrom. Chance that humans drop extra med packs on death. Oh, that's really good. I like that. So this does 11 damage. This was 52. But it's a shotgun. Let's take both of these and let's see if we like them. Carrying enough. Joe, don't abandon the way of the fist. I will definitely go back to it, but right now we are experimenting with how, how the shooting feels. We did fist for a while. So favorite, let's put it on um, one. And favorite, let's put it on two. All right. Clutter there, or should we find some more? All right, there we go. Okay, do we want to continue the path that we're going and see if we can get down here? It, maybe there's nothing here. Definitely want to continue the path we're going. So we're going to go to the cave and then we're just going to go straight down south. Oh, ow. Fuck. Ow. Jesus. Oh, all right, where's north? All right, we're going this way. Oh, that's neat. Okay, what's that? That is an Ashta. All right, let's see how fast the Ashta gets goes up against uh, assault rifle. So that was level 10 Ashta with the assault rifle. It doesn't seem like it has auto fire. Um, laser mine drill is way better than that, but let's see if we can find level 10 and try it with level 10. Whoa, where'd all the fucking grass come from? What the fuck? Oh, level 10 Ashta. All right. How fast does the, the miner uh, drill kill it? Let's see. Okay, that's comparable, Ooh. chat, and this has infinite ammo. There's probably going to be way better guns we get later, but right now this is this is our best gun for sure. Try shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun might be better. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Maybe another time. All right, level five Ashta is not a fair test, but let's see. Oh, that's that's not good. Maybe the uh, maybe the guns benefit from skills and the laser gun doesn't. Or the mining laser doesn't. It's definitely better than the mining laser, 
for damage, DPS is higher DPS, but it's not that much higher DPS. And also, it doesn't have infinite ammo. Hmm. You also invested zero sk zero skills into it, though. The the um, the rifle and the shotgun. Yeah, but it's the same for the laser. The the, la the fucking hell, I can't talk. The the laser mining drill thing. I'm sorry, chat. I'm I need a minute. One second. Maybe that's the point you were making. Is that they're both equally um, not invested in skill. Okay, where are we going? Okay, is there nothing down here? Apparently this is the way to the objective. See that mountain? Yeah. See that mountain? You can't climb it because it's out of the range of the, the generated zone that the uh, that the map made. You can't climb that mountain. Test it. Mm, it seems pretty far away. Maybe you can. Maybe the, the map keeps going longer than I think. Wait, you actually can't... Uh, the map is not infinite, yeah. You will eventually find a mountain that you can't climb. Like, if we can climb that one because it's closer, maybe. But you definitely can't climb that one. Unless they go on way longer than I think. Oh, well, level 15 now. Interesting. There is nothing over here. Are all the points of interest clustered around where you land? If you if you go far enough in in a single direction, do they stop generating, or did we just get unlucky with the uh, with what we got here? Is there an invisible wall? My understanding is that when you get to the edge of the map, it basically puts up a message and says you need to go back to your ship. a weird line. What the 
unser neues. Okay, uh, so we're keeping, go we're carrying on going south. Uh, I am curious to see if we can get, if we can get to that mountain. Let's just keep going south until we find a new, a new uh, point of interest or the boundary, and then we'll go um, east to see if we can get to that mountain, and then after that we'll end the stream because uh, I am not doing well right now. But I'm really interested to know if we can uh, see another point of interest somewhere. It seems like this whole area is just nothing. I wonder if, if you can't see the next point of interest from the point of interest you're standing at, th that means there isn't one. Who is killing all these guys? These guys weak, weak to energy weapons? Like they, these guys just melt. Sarah just vanished? Oh no, she's still there. I'm also curious why the, uh, why the objective marker thinks this is the way to talk to Daniel Blake. Is, is the city to the south of us? Is that why? Uh... Yeah? <laughs> uh, maybe that's why? Uh, no, we're here. It's to the north of us, isn't it? We should eat something. Uh, orange. Good old Canadian bacon. Some pancakes. Alright, that should be enough to get the red f flashing away, right? No? Ramen, chicken... Toast, cappuccino, dunkachino. All right, there we go. It's gone now. All right, that looks nice. Wait, what? Unknown. We got turned around a little bit. Okay, there's something over there, way northwest. 
Are there survival systems? No, I don't think so. I don't think you need to eat or drink or anything like that. Which seems like um, a, a lost opportunity, but I guess maybe they figured that getting food and water in the future like this would be pretty easy. In some cases, you, in some cases, you don't even need to breathe. Yeah. Apparently there's something over this rock. Maybe we can climb that mountain. Maybe you can get there. Maybe that is within range. I thought we would have hit the wall by now, especially considering we're not finding any more points of interest. Everything useful from that thing. Oh, I did. Don't worry. Can't wait for horse mod. Yeah. It's really weird that there's no vehicle system or whatever. Maybe we haven't found it yet, but I feel I feel like chat would have told me already if there was one. Okay, that certainly looks like you can't go down there, right? So is this like, are we getting roached right now? Or like Witcher 3, if we go to the edge of the map, will it like open the fast travel menu? And that's why the game thinks that if we go to the edge of the map, that will take us to the objective? Why'd it change? What the f All of a sudden, now no one wants to go north. Now it's going this way. Let's continue going straight south. So I think you can climb that mountain. Still nothing in any direction. This is, uh, this is not fun right now. Don't rush the scam. Didn't want to overlook anything valuable. Thing. I really thought we'd hit the point of return, but no. Still going? Is this the right location for the quest? Almost certainly not. No, this is not where you're supposed to go. Like, the, the objective marker is bugged, I think. Right now, we're not even trying to do the quest. We're just trying to, um, we're trying to find the edge of the map. And we're trying to see if there's, if there's going to be any, um, any points of interest around this area as we go. And so far, the answer to that is no. Where are you on the map? We're we're down here. We are we are this far away from the ship. We went through here, and there was a string of points of interest, and then this whole entire area has had absolutely nothing in it. 
Is this gonna be the end? Oh my god, the map maybe the map is giving me the migraine. Holy fuck! God damn it! This is the FOV too. Ghostbusters! I cannot believe this is still going. Thank you to uh, Mr. Edape. Oh, no, Mr. Red Tape. Oh, my God. Mr. Red Tape for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Red Tape. Why make it so big if there's nothing in it? Yeah. That's, that's why I don't understand. Like, it's unnecessary. I thought that wherever you went, the whole map would be populated with points of interest. Maybe it usually is. Maybe we just got unlucky with what spawned down here. But it's good to learn. Maybe it's just the um, in in the vicinity of where the ship lands. Maybe it generates like I don't know, like twenty points of interest in any direction. Open the map to further explore another to map explore another region or return to your ship. Boundary reach. Just like that. Alright. And there's the invisible wall. Okay, so that's pretty far. It looks like you can see the boundary. Maybe? Can you turn the camera? No? Maybe there's more- I actually- Wait, I can't go back up. So the camera, you are limited by how far you can scroll from where you are. So if I got further enough, far enough away, I wouldn't be able to see the ship on the map. Weird. I can't- I can't look at the map. The map is- I think the map is making me feel sick. All, all, the, all the dots. You ever looked at like um, a bunch of white lines with uh, with uh, black dots in them and you start to see black dots where they aren't? It does something to your eyes. Oh. Your brain's trying to, to fill in the grid. Oh man. So do you think it's so big that nobody would reasonably run into it just play it by playing normally? I think almost everyone who plays this game that is interested in exploring these games is going to hit one of these boundaries just out of curiosity. I think I think um, it's a normal thing for players to feel what's the edge of the map, what what what's the size of these things. All right, I have to stop chat. I'm starting to feel like way more nauseous than I than I want to say. Um, did all the grass go again? No, it's that, that 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 looks weird, doesn't it? Oh man! All right, so what what did I, I need to open the map again? All right, hold on. Let, let me let me just like look away from it where we where we go. I'm really surprised that that this is the boundary. So what I would like to do now is just basically with my finger and thumb, 
draw like like a line out and then just basically like make a with a compass like kind of make a like a circle around with that one being the longest one and see if like they're all within a circle around around the uh the landing pot uh mark so that's what we'll do tomorrow tomorrow we'll go to the to the west and we'll see there i yeah the, the map is making me sick oh my god <sighs> holy shit what the fuck? What kind of reaction is that? It must not be the map. It must be that I'm feeling sick because I, I have a migraine or whatever, and the map is just exacerbating it. Just like every time the map is open, it just it just like like man, my head pounds. Anyway, um, thank you to Bob's the third for the new sub. Before I go, thank you very much, Bob's the third. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, we'll do this tomorrow more experimentation and after we clear this map we're going to go back to the handcrafted map that's around uh the um the city on this planet and we're gonna see excuse me joe please take care of yourself i'm fine don't worry i'm okay it's just it just happens sometimes anyway see you later everybody